Okay. So this is going to be a, a, a little different than some of the other videos I've done in the past. Um, let me see here. What I'm going to do is, this is kind of like me celebrating the Wii Virtual Console. I really enjoyed it when the Wii came out. In fact, it was probably one of the things I used the most on the Wii. Um, and so I wanted to share my collection. Um, you know, it's it's pretty much dead now, but I've still got my collection and I have it backed up and all that. And so I thought it'd be fun to go through the multiple systems and games and play them for a short period of time, just giving a little example of the games uh, that I find interesting and different. I'm going to be skipping things like Castlevania, Punch-Out, Ninja Gaiden, most people know those that like retro games and it's not that it's not that they wouldn't know the other games it's just that they really know those and this also won't be a review uh this is going to be something that's like my take on the game sort of my impressions on the game um even though i consider myself a little bit more of a left brain person i, I want to approach this from more of a right brain perspective and i'm speaking very generally what i'm saying is using that term to say that I just want to give sort of like my impressions of each of these games and why I think it's interesting or frustrating um, and why it's in the collection. So I wanted to share my collection. Uh, I don't have time to do streams on all of these videos, but this is a great way to run through and just kind of show what I've got and uh, give a few thoughts on it. And, and I, I'm eventually going to upload this to YouTube. It's completely off the cuff. This video is just going to be me talking about my collection and I would really love to hear um, other thoughts uh, on on maybe your collection or what games you like from Virtual Console even if it's on let's say 3DS or DS or whatever um, eventually I'll move on to, to some Switch games which I, I do more full streams on um, but like I said this is an overview uh, an overview of something that I really enjoyed and and loved uh, and, and, and spent a lot of time enjoying. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to set this mic down here and get going. Let me make sure that I have everything set up correctly on this side here. Mm, it's okay for now. I think I'm going to turn up the Wii a bit. Okay. So, um, I'm actually going to start in reverse. I'm going to go to the end here. And start from here. So, one of the games that I'm going to start with is, uh, I think it's proprietary. I, I think it's a um, exclusive. I almost said proprietary. Oh my god. I think it's an exclusive. It's not the greatest game in the world at all by any means. It's just interesting. And a lot of the things they were releasing at the time, um, either for WiiWare or Virtual Console, were just that. Experiments, um, interesting ideas, games from many different companies, from Hudson to Sega to, um, you know, what else? Uh, any, you know, Nintendo um, to, uh, you know, arcades uh, games as well. Um, so they really cover uh, a large range um, of game styles and plays, mostly retro but some of it reimagined. Uh, it's very interesting, and I think some of the reimaginings are, are, while I don't like them as much as the original in many cases, I think they're interesting and they're worth a look at. So I'm gonna try to spend a little bit of time on each one, enough to give the flavor of it, but I don't want to play the game and like make a lot of progress. That's not the point of this stream. Um, so I'm gonna start with Onslaught which you may or may not have heard of. Uh, it's a WiiWare. It is not a virtual console per se, but it fits in. I mean, it's, it's sitting here on the SD card, so it's number 20 out of 20, so I'm going to start there. Um, I think it requires the nunchuck, so I'm going to grab that real quick. Assuming I've got it here, which I, I better. <laughs> not, I've got another one right here. Yeah, there we go. These things are so interesting. 
Okay. I don't consider myself a casual gamer. I've been gaming since Atari through NES, through TurboGrafx, through Neo Geo and Genesis and, you know, everything that you can think of possibly. Um, PCFX, even imported systems. But I like some casual games. I don't like uh, phone games. I'll be the first to admit that. I'm not a fan of what I think that's done to the gaming industry uh, in terms of pay for, pay for play and all that. But uh, some of the... Uh, quote, casual games on the Wii, I have had a lot of fun with, uh, with my friends. So, uh, some of those will be included too. Um, here we go. Uh, this is Onslaught. Very interesting game. I don't think I've looked at, the, at some of these in, in years. Uh, maybe, maybe since I first got them. So this is going to be an interesting exercise for sure. Uh, for me too. That's why I'm doing it. And I'm recording it for posterity, but also just to upload to YouTube because I'm hoping, I'm hoping a couple of people will comment and tell me things that they like or what they enjoyed about it. Let me turn it down here a bit. Every game's got sort of a different volume. Let's see. Oh, does this not use the nunchuck? That would be interesting. Sure. So this is the equivalent of, <laughs> I would say, a B-movie. Um, I like B-movies, so this is right up my alley. It was cheap, it's a fun little experience, it doesn't have to be Skyrim, it doesn't have to be Doom. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'll give you an idea of, of what it's like. I'm not reviewing these games. I, if I did, it would, this would be comprehensive and I would do research uh, and be, you know, all that stuff. This is just to show it. For what it is. There's plenty of reviews for all this stuff on online anyway already. Much better than I can do. Uh, I'm gonna do story mode. There's no more Wi-Fi connection, I'm sure. Uh, let's just go with normal. Okay. So there's an expedition landing and I'm sure they're gonna, gonna encounter trouble. Let's try phase one. Ah, it does need the nunchuck. Okay, I wasn't sure. You've arrived on a distant planet. Okay. So, victory. Arrive at the base. Defeat. Fail to arrive at the base. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so as you can see, I liked this because it was one of the first games. I, so, when I... Let me just take a little... A little uh, digression here. Um... I was really psyched about motion controls for first-person shooters. I think some of what I'm seeing on the Switch, especially with Doom, has given me what I'm looking for. Um, I've been really enjoying that with motion controls. It took me a while. I hated it at first, but now I, I, I'm talking about the Switch. But I've really been enjoying it, and I have it on PC as well. So I get the keyboard mouse. That's how I play it normally. But when I got the Wii, I was like, well, this is going to be neat, you know, like actually having that kind of motion. So this was one of those first, I think, experiments, if I'm not wrong, uh, of that. Um, so it's probably not spectacular. I don't remember it, but I'm going to give it a shot. So let's see. Use the control stick to move in eight directions. Two times to dash. All right, let's give that a shot. Attacking. You point at the target, you hit the B button to fire, which is the trigger. That, that makes sense. It's like a little bit like a gun. Um, and the control, the digital pad will change weapons. Okay, fair enough. Let's just do a little testing here. All right. Okay. Can I zoom in? I'm not sure. How, oh, this looks like a grenade. Perhaps. Oh, no, interesting. Okay, so that's a, uh, a melee attack that I can do with the nunchuck. Uh, apparently has to recharge. I'm gonna move something out of the way of the sensor here, since this game heavily relies, most of these don't. This one heavily relies on the motion control, so there we go. Okay. Let's give this a shot now. See how well I can do. And what I might do is make the sensitivity a little bit more because I'm pretty used to this. So 
Let's see, let's put it on B, maybe? Um, that works, I think. Let's find out how that looks. I like that better. Okay. Here we go. Uh, let me try dashing. Yep. Nice. Here we go. What this reminds me of is an arcade game. So, it's something you'd see in an arcade. Like, a, you know, an arcade bar. And you really can't expect more than that. Running out of ammo, so it looks like I do this. Reload. But to be honest, I like those games. I love, um, what is it? Um, walk, uh, typing, well, not Typing of the Dead. <laughs> That's from Dreamcast. I like, um, okay, what is it saying now? A blood will splatter when you attack an enemy, blah, blah, blah. Swing it on, okay, got it. Makes sense. In a weird sort of way. Yeah, House of the Dead, I loved that. Um, you know, all those alien games, Terminator in the arcade. So th this is no different. In fact, I really wish they would have made more conversions uh, of those type of games. Let's reload. Hmm. Okay, you're not doing so good here. I don't think I've played this since it came out, to be honest with you. It's amazing. One mistake they made is they, they well, maybe not. I'm not going to say that. This isn't a review. It's an overview. Is this a different path here? Perhaps? No. Of course not. <laughs> it seems pretty linear. Ah, okay. Interesting. I'll, ch I'll use a different weapon for now, assuming I have one. I need to find a magazine, is what they're saying. Is there one here by chance? Let's see. Usually they provide an example when they give you such a notification, but I guess not. Aha! I knew we had grenades. And you can even cook them. That's kind of neat. Glad I threw that. <laughs> that would have been bad. Okay. Let's try the shotgun thing. Feels like a shotgun. Uh-oh. Ooh! So I gotta wipe that off, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. I like the other gun better. Yeah, wipe that off. Okay. It's kind of a neat mechanic. Um, again, very arcade-ish. Reload. Reload! Oh, 
Okay. I wonder where I find magazines. I haven't seen any. Ah, there's some. I think. Glad I missed that. I can't for the life of me figure out what he's saying. Woo! Okay, I think I lost him. Let's see. Oops. Throw it! Okay. Here we go. Got it. Hmm. That didn't so hot, I'm on. Now that I know my range of throwing, I can probably use that a little better. <laughs> uh oh, no cartridge, switch weapon. Get that slime off me! Let's see what happens there. Alright. They didn't like that. <laughs> okay. It looks like that buys you a little time. Kinda cool. Uh oh. Now if I run out of bullets on this, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> uh, very indie. But that's okay. All right, let's go. I'm not really interested in the story for the purpose of this uh, overview. It could be amazing. I'm gonna assume it's not. Uh, changing support formations. When accompanied by other characters, press A button to alternate between three types of formations. That's interesting. Uh, got it. I want, I'm trying to understand the formations. Hold on a minute. I see. Okay, I like this. Now I got some backup. That'll help. Boom. Okay, nice. Well-placed grenade actually helps. Now, if I were all about graphics, I would be laughing at this game, and the graphics are horrible. Um, having said that, for an arcade-style game, I'm actually having a little bit of fun right now. I guess I'm easily pleased. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I would say the best on rails shooter for the Wii would be uh, Dead Space Extraction. Um, it's really well done by EA. If you get a chance to check that out, if you like these kind of shooters, if you like on rails shooters, like House of the Dead or something, you'd really like that. It's, it's well done. It's creative. I do stream that occasionally. I like that game. I like Dead Space in general. Alright. So I think you can close the nests down by shooting them, which is kind of cool. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Do I still have no bullets with my other gun that I prefer? Nope. Wow.
Got to watch the clock to make sure I don't play too much of this so I can move on here. I, I don't want this stream to be insanely long. <laughs> Although there are a lot of games. I start having fun here and I'll, I'll keep playing it. This will give me an idea, though, of what I might want to come back to and, and beat, you know, or do a longer stream on. Um, I stream what I like, so... I mean, there, there's plenty of people that probably don't like it, but the ones that do will find enjoyment uh, in it. So, there you that, That's the idea. Maybe they can share with me uh, what they like, and I can find new games. Ooh. It's getting intense here. I, uh... Need to wipe that off, and I think I just grenaded myself. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a magazine there. I absolutely need that at all costs. Okay. There we go. Checkpoint. Nice. The motion controls on the Switch are way better for Doom. I, I'm just saying that because I've been playing it recently. Not as good as keyboard mouse, but fun. Fun to use. What am I supposed to do? Alright, cool. So that was one mission. I got a B, so it's very arcade, like it'll give you a score. And that is Onslaught. You, you get the idea. So you've got grenades, you've got formations of the squad. And it's, it's an arcade shooter. One thing I do apologize about this video, and I will cut out if I have time from the YouTube one, is the loading times. Because my games are on an SD card. So it by default goes to this menu here. And I have to actually select the SD card. And then of course there's the loading from SD card. <laughs> Considering the amount of games, it's, you know and that this is the Wii, it's kind of acceptable to me, but it's a little bit of a wait. So here we go. Next thing that I will check out, uh, people know Frogger, um, is this. This is Star Soldier R. I was very disappointed with it originally because I was expecting a new Star Soldier. I was like, yes, I love shooters. Um, I still haven't become comfortable saying shmup. But I love shooters, and uh, I thought this was a new Star Soldier. And it's, it kind of is, but it's not. So you'll see what I mean, and I'll just do a quick overview. There's no way not to do a quick overview of this game. It's a great game, just not what I was expecting. I ended up learning to like it because the idea is to get the highest score within a set amount of time. That's the challenge, not to get to the final stage. So once you understand that, you can play it a little differently, and I think have some fun with it if you're into that sort of thing. Let's see what it wants me to do here. Okay, I prefer for this type of game, uh, I will use an actual controller, so that's what I'll do. There we go. I was, yeah, I was expecting, you know, like nine, ten stages kind of thing. Uh oh, we're not going to register. Come on. <laughs> there is no more online. Uh, fine, I'll be honest. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Alrighty. Music's great. It starts out like it got me all psyched back in the day. Let's see, when did this come out now? Um, it should show a date here. Yeah, 2008. <laughs> 11 years ago. Or uh, 12 years ago, yeah. So. And I was so excited, but you'll see quickly what I mean. Let's see, weapon. Um, we're good. Back. So I'm gonna start game. Now here's the options. You've either got two minute mode or five minute mode. When I first saw that, my heart sank. But I now understand. Now, yes, it was easier to make and they could put it out quicker, but there is something to it. So I'll do the five minute mode and then we'll switch to another game. The goal is how far can you get in five minutes and how high of a score can you get in five minutes? That's it. 
It's kind of it's it's interesting. Again, very arcade like, but oh gosh, I haven't played this in a while. I hope I do all right. I'm gonna have to be conservative. You can change your speed um, with one button. The other button auto fires. I'm trying to see if there's anything else like a super bomb. It's an evolution of Star Soldier in terms of graphics at the time. I just was hoping for a full game. Feels a little bit like a demo. Still fun, though. If you like shooters. Oh yeah, so on the left there, you can see my speed. It's slowest now, medium now, maximum. You got three settings. I like medium. Oh, I shouldn't have been doing that. That was stupid. Okay. I need to pay attention. See, my score is lowering because I'm dying. I'm not sure that there's a life limit, which is interesting in, a, in and of itself. Um, but you won't get as high of a score, so... If you're competing against a friend or something, you know. Or yourself. You need to see how well you can do. I mean, I grew up when high scores meant something, so it's kind of cool to see a little bit of that so every now and then again. Okay. I've got two minutes and 42 seconds now. At least they pause it for this stuff, for the eye candy. <laughs> As you can see, 2 minutes 41 or 36 seconds to go. <laughs> Better make the most of it. It's just like a tease, you know? If you like this game, it's a tease. But once I got more into the idea of the score thing, I, was, I started to have fun with it for a while. And it wasn't expensive. My guess is they might have been seeing what the uh, what the interest was to see if they wanted to release a full version. I don't know. I really don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> Maybe they just wanted a, a pure high score time limit challenge, which is very rare nowadays. Even then, even in 2008. Hmm. I bet there are all kinds of tricks and things, though, if you watch min-maxers play this, or people that are, like, speedrunners or whatever it is, they'll know, and they probably know all kinds of secrets or something. Yeah, I, I hope it has some more depth. Ooh, I like this weapon. Please don't lose it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that was tough. What is this gonna be? Okay, wow. Oh yeah, okay, so I can shoot out my options. I like that, it's like R-Type. I didn't even really, I like that. Um, I, I think I'll keep him here for now. Hmm. Hmm, that was tough. Is that it? I got 17 seconds to beat this boss. 
so you can see how it could get interesting because you play again and say, well, you know what, next time my goal is to just beat this boss. And then you push yourself a little further each time. And that's it for me anyway on this run. Now, as you can see, I did better uh, back in 2008. <laughs> All right, um, if that's even me. No, that was Hudson. Okay, never mind. All right, so that saved my mission. And that, uh, that covers Super uh, Star Soldier. R or whatever it is. I need to get the title right. But it's like a remix in a way. All right, back to the menu. If only it would bring you back to the SD menu, but I guess that's what limited memory does. It's a good time to have a coffee break while it while it loads the next thing. All right, so now that was Superstar Soldier R. Okay, next thing I'll show is uh, Boulder Dash. Boulder Dash is a Commodore 64 game, but I played it originally on PC. It's still fun. It's amazing. It's uh, very very simple. I almost want to say it's a physics game, but it's really not. Like, it's, you'll see. If you're not familiar with it, what you do is you're collecting diamonds um, and you're avoiding certain obstacles. But there are boulders that behave according to certain strict rules. You'll see those rules as I play the game. Um, let me reset this here. I really do like this game. 84. Wow. So here we go. That's the world, and that weird-looking E.T. thing is me, and I'm getting diamonds. Now, when you run under a boulder, it'll fall. If you run under two boulders, the top one will fall like that. So once you, once you know that, you see that's falling. If you get hit by one, you'll die, but you can also get trapped by them. That's not good either. Goal is to get all the diamonds and get to the exit, which I think appears once you get all the diamonds. Um, this is going to be dangerous. Okay. Now when I get this... Okay, no, that did not fall. Good. It's a little trickier than it looks because if you make one mistake, uh, there's a chain reaction and you're dead. And it may happen to me on the first stage. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that was... Oh, right there. That's it. And I had, uh, I had gotten enough diamonds. So let me try again, now that, now that we have an understanding of what this is. Uh, oh, by the way, you can push them too. Uh, if it's just one boulder, if it's two, you cannot push them, which is how you can get trapped. Uh, surprising amount of depth for what looks like just a simple game. It's a, it's a puzzle game, really. I, I always loved it. I, Thought it was kind of fun exploring these caverns or whatever, even though the uh, vantage point doesn't really make any sense, the perspective. Oof, okay. Let's try not to die this time. What I'll do is this, this. Okay. Then that. And I think there's a time limit as well. Yes, I have 99 seconds left. Okay. On later stages, there are dangerous enemies as well, like amoeba. Oh, the diamond killed me. So I'll give it one more try. I'll just beat the first stage. If I can do it. That's embarrassing. Um, and move on to the next, because we got a lot of games here to go through. Commodore 64. I still have mine, uh, believe it or not. Um, so funny. I got it recently. I didn't have one when I was younger, but I, I like to collect uh, older systems. All right, here goes. Uh, let's try not to make mistakes again here. All right. Okay. 
I need to remember that diamonds can kill me just like rocks. Okay. I should be all right now as long as I don't do anything incredibly stupid, which is possible. Here we go. All right, so next level. Let's see what it looks like. Each one is different. That's what's neat. Like this one, as you can see, has rocks falling from the beginning. Um, and different rooms. Now, this is where the puzzle comes in because... Sometimes you can get yourself in a situation where you're trapped. You do not want to let that thing out. It looks like just a square. It's not. It will kill you. Okay. All right, I'm not messing around with that. Okay. Got it. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. I'll give it one try only. <laughs> uh, the lack of music adds tension. I don't know why. Okay. I want to do that. This one I can push. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah, like that. Aha. Okay. Push one. Ooh, didn't mean to do that, but okay. And now, if I can just find the exit, I can get out. And I think it's at the bottom. I'm not sure, though. Yes, okay, this will be interesting. That's gonna fall and go. All right, well, so that's good enough. Let's just take a look at what the third one looks like. It is addictive, as you can see, I want to play it. It reminds me of a mix of, like, Bomberman and some other things. Um, it's, a, it's a great game, so check it out if you can. It's on, like, all kinds of systems, probably even the phones and stuff. Um, you can get it for free. All right. Back to the SD card menu while I have a sip of coffee. So this next one uh, is going to be... Everyone knows Ace Attorney. Oh, not everyone, but I'm not going to do Ace Attorney. Um, what I will do is... My Life as a Dark Lord, or, yeah, My Life as a Dark Lord. It's a game made by, I think, Squaresoft. Uh, it is called WiiWare, so it's not a retro, it's not a virtual console, but I think it's an exclusive. Don't know if they've re-released it on anything else, but let's take a look. I honestly don't remember these. It's, I got some of these, and then I moved on so quickly because um, some other games released, and I feel bad. I, I didn't really even play them. It's, uh... It's a shame. They might be great. Or they might be horrible. <laughs> Maybe I did the right thing. This is sort of a blind playthrough on some of these. My life as a Dark Lord, Square Enix. Okay. Yep. I think it just uses this, maybe? The wand? I mean, the, the Wiimote. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay. I wonder if I can use the, uh, can I use this? Will it let me? No, it's not going to, that's fine. Okay, let's do it. Uh, new game. Sure, we'll just do the tutorial stage. That'll help everyone, including myself, uh, give an overview. Okay, so a world of magic, monsters, we, we know it's square. There's a tower, probably a big tree. Um, there's a dark lord. Monsters spent their days fighting adventures. He dared trespass on the tower. In order to protect these monsters, he decided to offer his own life. Well, that's nice. Uh, it doesn't sound like a dark lord. Uh, he was sealed in a dark crystal. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
the messenger from the inferno. Alright, demon of death. Let's hear it for... Okay. Tower in fear. Feels almost like an Atlas game. The war begins. Now watch, this is like really fun strategy game and I end up being obsessed with it. I, I, I just don't know. Um, I'm gonna kinda go fast. Again, this isn't a review. It, it does remind me of something like Disgaea or uh, like an Atlas game a little bit so far. Just the style, not the music. Okay. Wow. Um, okay. Okay, sounds good. I'm with her. Oh, nice. Okay, interesting. So let's, uh, let's do it. Start. You can't charge headlong into war without knowing the basics. The object is to guard the dark crystal at the top of the tower. Dispatch the invading adventurers. Got it. Crystal will be destroyed if the adventurers, so you're evil in this, if the adventurers reach the top, resulting in our army's defeat. It reminds me a little bit of, uh, oh my lord, what have I done to deserve this, which was a, a game I loved on PSP. I will definitely stream that sometime. Um, repel all the invaders and the Dark Lord army will be victorious. That's what we want in this case. Okay, so it's like tower defense, literally? <laughs> okay, what do I do? What am I doing? Okay, place, f you can open the stage menu anytime to pause the action. All right. Select place floor. I'll do that. I see. I have 500 remaining. Placing floors uses NP. Negative power, which is displayed in the upper right. Got it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Place floor. I like it. Um, let's do it. Information. I'm interested. Uh, floors. So this is sluggish. Okay, so it tells you like sort of the stats of that particular floor. I can place another floor, I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, because I have more money. So let's place a floor. There we go, place floor. Now why would I do this? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it in a weird way. This is a tutorial, so it can't be this simple. Okay, cannot place any more floors. So now, three, two, one, let's go. Now, do I actually control anything, or does it just play out? I think it just plays out. Let's see. Okay, interesting. Summon, power up, use items. So as things get more complex, you can interact with it. Uh, okay, got it. If they destroy a floor, and I have enough power, I imagine I could create a new floor. Okay, this one has an artifact. Got it. And if the floor is destroyed, I'll just place another one. I have enough money right now. And I imagine it will be. Got it. You must add floors above. Yeah, I know. I've got a few. Okay, so let's do it. Maybe. Oh, I can't. Interesting. I wonder how he was able to leave without, uh... I get it. I get it. You have to wait till it's destroyed. He, he might get up there. This is... Okay, so this gets to be a frantic thing, I imagine. Like tower defense. I need to wait for a floor to be destroyed before I can build a new one. And that should be soon. I hope. Otherwise, he's going to get up to the crystal immediately. Is he up there? Mm. 
Hmm. You'd think this would kill him. Oh, good. <laughs> Did I lose a floor yet? Almost, almost. I gotta be ready to replace a couple floors coming up here. After the next hero. I see how this works. And I'm sure when summoning comes into play, this gets a lot more frantic. I, I could end up... Ooh, okay, now we can place the floors. Let's do it like that. Yep. We're good for now. Placing it above makes the most sense. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. How about another floor? There we go. Now I wonder if it's like Jenga. Like, what, what if the thing becomes unstable? It's funny. No, it's not. Information? Adventurers. Trainee. I, okay. This is cool. I might come back to this. I, I like this. This is just the tutorial. No. I could see this getting fun. Uh, place floor. Let's do that. So there's things that we're not going to get to see in this quick overview, which is summon, power up, use item, and I bet there's even more. Like different towers, different items, different traps. Um, especially items could be all sorts of things. Square makes pretty good games on the whole, in my opinion, for Enix, with some notable exceptions. Okay. Oh, this one's doing all right. Look at that. Wish I had better monsters. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. They're gonna. They're gonna get him. I. I hope. Oh no. It's all up to you, final floor. It's becoming evening. I am stopping them. There we go. Okay. It's very sad. That might have actually been the first time I've played that. Okay, so this is that. I'm not going into detail. It looks interesting, and I'm coming back to this one. Um, just so any, any folks know, I, I haven't had this laying around. I recently got this out of storage, so it's almost like new to me to go back to this. I'm so glad it works. I've had so many things break, like my Dreamcast, two of them, one Lynx. Tough. Coffee break. That's just enough time to get a nice sip of coffee. All right. So there's also my life as a king, which is I have played a, a little bit. Way more complex, I think. Um, maybe it's just because I spent more time with it. But um, this is really fun, too. And it's interesting. Like, you run a town and you send adventures on quests. You're not actually doing the quests, which sounds boring, but it isn't. Um, it's, it's interesting. It's just a really neat game. I, they were thinking creatively and making new things, and I always liked that. Um, new to me. I, I haven't seen Square release anything like this before. Or after, I could be wrong, but that's my recollection. Um, my life as a king is kind of like my life as a dark lord, except now you're a good person. You're you're sending adventures out on quests. So, uh, what we will do is do a quick overview of this. It's not not identical at all either. So you have a sort of an empty castle, kind of deal. I remember correctly. Kind of looks like Final Fantasy IX. Some of the some of the size of the characters, not not the really the art so much. At last, okay, new land, got it. I think I'm gonna skip this. This we're we're really just gonna. Leo works. For the 
purpose of this video. Oh, okay, so I'm going to be using the remote this way this time. Okay. Oops. <laughs> all right, Leo. And let's see what it's all about. Chapter 1, The Little King. I seem to remember this one being pretty neat. Okay. So, let's take a look. I think it's a kingdom builder, essentially. But it has all kinds of interesting elements, like sending knights off on certain quests to find treasure that then helps you build better buildings. So there's a little bit of management involved. They build the first uh, building for you. Nice. Yes, okay. Fill the land with people and build a build a kingdom. It's kind of a neat idea. Sim Kingdom. <laughs> Squares version. This is one I will come back to as well and, and do a, a proper stream on. Um they put some time into this. I think it deserves it. Okay, we're gonna skip this and just get going a little bit. Alright, so you can, uh, let's see, let's talk to some people. Okay. Okay. So she's happy. That's good. I think you have to keep them happy. I'm not sure what uh, I'm trying to remember it as it goes down. Let's talk to her. Scattered citizens. Okay. Got it. They're happy. Now, let's see what I can do. Like, let's see what's up here. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I guess I called someone. <laughs> Let's build a small house. Okay. Sure. Why not? Mm, why not there? Go check it out. So here's a small house. And this must be the new denizen. <laughs> the new citizen of my kingdom. Oh, your majesty, you are really... Okay, let's make him happy, hopefully. Oh, it's becoming nighttime. Neat. Now I wonder... Let's try something here. Dodger. I want to see what I what I can do with this overview. Anything. Okay, so that shows them. They're happy. <laughs> what else can I do here? I wonder. Let's see. There doesn't seem to be any place to build structures. Okay, I got it. So I'll go to a structure building spot. That's what the overview is for, I guess, to pick a neat spot where you want to build. Fine. Um, let's see what we can build. Uh, well, hold on. I didn't mean to uh, dismiss her. What else can we build? Do we still need just houses only? Okay. Oh, I see what I'm doing. I'm hitting the wrong button. I, I'm sorry, folks. Okay. It looks to me like all I can build right now is a house. That's very interesting. Okay. Maybe I don't have enough citizens yet to 
have a proper kingdom or something like that. We'll see. Give it a chance for a minute. Now this person has a neighbor! <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, maybe there's a different zone here where I can build something else. Like, I don't know. Let's check it out. What's going on? Oh. Interesting. We'll worry about that later. Okay, here we go. Yes, so you can commission as an adventurer. Adventurers can go gather elements. So that's how you get supplies and things, and depending on if they're successful in the adventure. It's a very neat idea, so he's a different class now. Of course, you don't want all adventures. I'm sure there are many different classes that you'll need for a functioning kingdom. Um, so let's postpone departures until tomorrow. Sounds good. I'll try one departure to get an idea of what that's like. I know I'm skipping these, but like I said, overview. <laughs> There's a lot to go through. I wish at the time, I was working so much, I wish at the time I, I had given this, you know, a little more look. A little more, spent a little more time with this game. Both of these look fun. And I haven't even read reviews, so I don't know if that's just, that's just my opinion off the cuff. Oh, you get to name the kingdom. I'm going to stick with the standard for now because of reasons. <laughs> mm -hmm. This will be fun. I'm going to make a kingdom. I love games like this. I don't know why I was just too darn busy with work when it came out. Day and night. I knew someday I'd get to play it. Maybe that's now. Okay, so there are some caverns near, which is like a dungeon. Um, go for it. I hope he's properly equipped. He doesn't need, like, a mage with him or anything? Or a party? <laughs> Not a good sign. Maybe that stuff comes later. Alright, let's go uh, talk to them and see what they think. Oh, that was her son. Okay, well, she she's happy about this. What's what's up here? Are those oh little? Oh, he oh look at this. He uh he reached the caverns, so I get updates. Nice. Are these little moguls? Nice. I uh, I know. Come on, don't criticize me. What does the knight think? Okay, let's build some stuff here. Oh, okay, so I need to wait for, um, I need to wait for the adventure to come back. That's fine. I see how it works now. So that would be my resource gatherer. This is almost like an RTS. In a way, in a weird way, mixed with uh, a sim game. That's just my first opinion. I'll talk to these folks to make sure they're happy, and maybe that will progress the uh, the game a little bit. Let's see. He cleared the caverns. Look who's back. I wonder what he brings with him. And I wonder if he levels up. That would be cool. Now we'll be able to build tomorrow. Okay. Why not save the details for the adventure report in the morning? Sounds good. Let's get there. Okay. 
I can see how this can become addictive. Uh, how do I rest? I wonder. Yeah. Okay. No. Oops. I think... I think it might be that I need to talk to them to advance it because they have information that I might need, perhaps. Let's find out. Ah, there we go. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm going to have to do something about that. A bakery. Okay, or an architect. This is really cool. It's like being in some civilization, but like just in one kingdom. <laughs> With quests. Memory. Okay, I understand. So what do I do? Oh, Moogles. Of course. Isn't that the way it goes? Ooh. Yep, okay. Interesting. I don't understand why that... I guess it just tells me where they are. Oh, it brought them to me, I think. Or at least... You know, I don't mind running around a little bit. That's kind of neat. I like the music. Horrible graphics, but that doesn't matter to me in one in the slightest. Um, there's one. Come here, you little. <laughs> Come here, you little thing. All right. Nope, nope, nope. I didn't see you, huh? Is that what's going on here? All right, I will use the aerial view. Let's see. There we go. Maybe it just told me where he was. I see. It's gonna be nighttime. And I didn't talk to him. I wonder if that's a problem. Hmm, there he is. Okay, cool. Now what? Capture that pesky penguin? What's going on? <gasps> Weird. <laughs> what is going on? Come here. Ten seconds! Did I get it? Oh, come here. Why didn't I get him? I thought I got him. <laughs> Alright. Day three. So here's the report. I just wanted to see this before moving on. Let's go. News brief. Okay. Look at this. All right, beginning training, he cleared it. He fought five battles. This is what he earned, and he has returned with money. Um, what else? Action, yes, okay, how do I get to the next? Oh, look at that, you can, you can take a look at the caverns. This is, this is a little more in depth than the Dark Lord one, I believe. Um, I like this. I'm gonna play it. And that is my life as a king. I am going to grab a sip of my coffee here while this loads.
Okay. So the next thing that I'll check out, um, let's take a look here, is uh, I'm going to skip uh, a couple things here. Obvious ones. Dynastic Hero. That's one that uh, not many folks, uh, they may not be familiar with it. I think it was released only in Japan on uh, the PC Engine. Give me just a second. I'm going to let my cat out. He is my best friend and my master. <laughs> I try to take good care of him because he's so old. So hold on just a second. This is my cat, by the way. His name's Friday. So yeah, the Dynastic Hero, uh, a lot of people will know that as, um, geez, I'm trying to think of a way to compare it to Monster, let me think here. It was remade on the Switch, and it was on the Genesis, but it was called something different, like Curse of the Dragon, or Dragon's Curse, Wonder Boy is another name. Um, but, but you'll see this is a very Japanese game. Um, it's a PC Engine CD-ROM game, and like I said, it was not released. I don't think it was released in the U.S. Could be wrong about that, so I'm going to look it up I while we do this. It's got really cheesy music, but, you know, it's an old game. Dynastic Hero. Take a look here. Yeah, Wonder Boy and Monster World. Exactly. It is on the Switch. Um, and this is just the Japanese version. Uh, either, either it was ported and I just somehow missed it, or it was released only in Japan and they did a translation. Very, very interesting game. It's a side scrolling RPG. And if you've played any of the Wonder Boy games, you know what to expect. Uh, especially uh, Wonder Boy and Monster Land on Genesis. It's identical. Just better music. Well, better meaning Red Book Audio. Better is subjective. So there it is. Dynastic Hero. 1993. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, I have played this before, so I'm going to... Plug in the proper controller and just show what the game looks like. I won't spend very much time on this at all because if anyone's had this on Genesis, they're going to know exactly what this is. <laughs> yeah, so this is an RPG. Side view though, you attack creatures, and you get coins. <laughs> you get quests. Oh, hold on. I'm not doing so well. But then you can, uh, with that money, you can buy better equipment. And uh, you have to find out where to go. There are bosses. There's all kinds of really interesting things like that. Um, wow, I'm doing horrible. I wouldn't say this is my favorite version. Uh, I think my favorite version is actually on the Switch. It's, um, here we are. This is uh, like a, where you can heal. I think. Yeah. I, the Genesis version is my second favorite one, and I think my favorite one is probably the one on the Switch, just because they it was a labor of love. They spent a lot of time remaking that. It was also on the Master System, which is uh, interesting. So it goes back quite a ways. It's a very fun game. If you don't mind non-traditional RPGs that are mixed with action. It's a hybrid kind of thing. So this is a town that I'm in, which is actually infected, so there are enemies here. This is more of a... what you'd call the field in an RPG. So like now I'm not in a town, I'm actually fighting monsters in a field. Most towns don't have enemies. Um, that last one did. 
It's not the easiest game in the world. <laughs> Especially this version. Don't be so foolish next time. As you can see, it's non-linear. I can go left or right. And the music is ridiculous, and I love it. You can get magic, so that you don't have to attack these things head on. Mmm, that was a bad move. It's very precise. These stages even remind me a little bit of uh, some other games, like... Um, let me think for a second here, but uh, Keith Courage is one of them. There's a whole slew of games like this. Um, Wonder Boy, of course. Um, there are different Wonder Boy games. Not all are RPGs. And even Alex Kidd uh, is like this a little bit. Ah! And those are Sega games, those particular Alex Kidd. I want that. So you could even say it's a little Metroidvania-ish in the sense that you need certain things to come back and open that and get, you know, I, I wouldn't call it that by any stretch, but I'm just saying it has elements of different genres. It's, it's a combo. And for that reason alone, I find it interesting. So um, let me see if I can, uh... oh, I do have, I think I do have something like fire. So as you can see, it has a menu like an RPG. I've got armor, boots, magic, item, shield, and weapon. But it's side-scrolling and with ridiculous music. It's fun if you have a sense of humor. Okay, let's get out of here. I'll just play till I die real quick. It's hard to keep a straight face with this music, to be honest. All right. And you, you do level up as well, as I recall. Um, maybe I'm confusing it with these three, so don't quote me on that. This is not a review, I say again. It's me just enjoying sharing a collection that I'm sad is, is dying. I don't think we'll ever get anything like Virtual Console on the Switch. We'll get Nintendo Online, which I have, and it's great, but it's not like this. So yeah, here's another field. And that was the king. I wonder if they'll let me in. Let's, let's see. Can I come in? Oh, well, I guess I will leave the game then. Thanks a lot. So that's, that's uh, Dynastic Hero. Very, very fun game if you like that style of game, like I said. Very weird kind of genre, like uh, even Adventure Island is a little like that. It just has this feel. You, you'll know what I mean if you play it. The difference is this one has RPG uh, aspects to it. And, and a history on its own. I think they just kind of copy each other a little bit. And I have no idea which one came first. Okay. <clears throat> so where are we here? That was Dynastic Hero. Um, Bonk's Revenge, people know Bonk. Uh, Final Soldier, people know that. Um, Shockman. Uh, that one isn't quite maybe as familiar. Uh, Samurai Ghost might not be either. Yeah, I'll just... I'll go ahead and, and do Samurai. I don't really like this game, but I'm going to go ahead and include it in the video. This isn't necessarily about what I like or don't like. It's just, just want to kind of give an overview of this collection here. Let's reset this. This is a Turbo Graphics game. 
not CD, uh, released in the US, I believe, in 86. It was ported from a Japanese game. Um, I think it's like a... It, it's, it's just interesting. Now, let me check out the controls here and see what I'm doing wrong. Because I don't seem to be having any effect on this. Oh, there we go. Hmm, here we go. Very weird game. A little clunky from for, from for me. Um, I find it a little hard to control just because the the weird way the sword is. As you can see, I already got hit. But I bet if you get used to it, you can do it. It's just different. That's than most. Uh, you kind of have a little more control over the sword than I'm used to. Ooh. Mm. There we go. Yeah, like they're slicing down. There's an overhead slice. There's kind of a jab. And then you can kind of block. It's very interesting. Kind of like the whip on uh, Castlevania when you can swing it around a little bit. It feels a little bit like that sometimes to me. Which is actually kind of neat, but with a sword it just feels weird to me sometimes. You have to be very precise. Which is, I'm sure, what they were going for. Um, there we go. Now can I use any of that? And if so, how? Hmm. Alright. Whew. That was close. Alright. Second stage, much like the first. Get away. Oh, they come at you different times. Okay. Oh. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you can jump down. I do like that. Interesting. I'm not going to make that, but I can do that. Now let's try it. Oh, that was too slow there. Oh. Wow. It's a nice size sprite. Now this will be a battle, I'm sure. Let's try high then low. I don't know the pattern. Especially with all the options I have. Ah, not bad. Doing okay. Who am I in? in the... Hmm. <laughs> Volcanic zone. Let's do it. All right, I'll focus for a minute and see how well I can do here. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta do something a little different here. Hmm. What did I do? 
Ah. Okay. I could see getting good at this, actually. It's, uh, it's different. It's just different. That's what it is. It's not like what you'd expect. Boom! And that is Samurai Ghost. So let's move on here. Hold on just a moment. I'm going to attend to my cat while it loads. Okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, my cat comes before any games. <laughs> hey, Mysterious Loner, what's up? You must have come in while I was on the Be Right Back. I didn't, uh, unless I missed you, I didn't hear you come in. How are you doing? And so the next game I'm going to do is Legend of Hero Tonema real quick before I move on. Um, again, I'm skipping any obvious ones that people are like super familiar with, or that I'm super familiar with. And I'm trying to get through this whole page. I think I will be able to get through all 20 pages very quickly because I'm not spending any time on these other than like a couple minutes each. I've been wanting to do this overview for a while. All right, this is Legend of Hero Tonma, released in the US in 93, I believe. And here we go. It's a side scroller. <laughs> kind of generic. You just collect coins, you fight things. Um, it's not really, it doesn't really have RPG elements that I'm aware of. I'm not the biggest fan of this game, but um, I like it. It's interesting. It's got nice art for it, for the time it came out anyway. Um, and it's a one hit kill. Who doesn't love that? Come on, there we go. Okay, maybe now I got like more than one hit. Who knows? Power ups are cool. Gra I, I like the, I like the graphics. It's something I'll probably come back to someday. But this is definitely not on the top of my list. I just wanted to provide. Um, I wanted to include it in the overview, I should say, of my virtual console collection. It's fun in the sense that it it's a reflex type game, and I, I like that. And you have a de 
You have a decent jump uh, height. You get all kinds of weapons. It'd be a shame of me to compare this to Ghouls and Ghosts, because that would be like an insult to Ghouls and Ghosts, but sometimes it can feel a little, a little like that. Um, okay, there's a key. I want that. Okay, that's a little cheap, but I did it. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> yes. Okay, boss time. So you can see the sprites are nice. They're nice and big. They're colorful. And that's the Legend of Hirotoma. So I'm going to jump on to the next. It's not a bad game. Um, not a super great game, but it's it's a game. It's fun. If you like platformers and you like things like Ghouls and Ghosts and you've already beaten and totally exhausted that, you might give it a shot. Um, I think it's challenging, you know, and I like a challenge, so that's why I have it around. Sorry I missed your uh, text, Mysterious Loner. I feel bad about that. All right, let's see here. Okay. Next one I'll give an overview on is Shockman. Um, I know this is a good one to include because I don't remember it. <laughs> Still here. No big deal. Oh, cool. Yeah. So the, the purpose of this video, just so you know, is I'm quickly, as quick as I can, going through my virtual console collection once and for all, just to kind of like have a record of it, you know, and I'm skipping games like Sonic or Mario. Um, I'm, I'm just doing like the oddballs kind of thing or just just things that I find interesting. And I actually found a couple that I'm going to go back and play now. Um, the reason is I recently got this out of storage and uh, I'm glad that I did. And I'm glad I backed all this up because there's, there are some gems in here. There's also a lot of junk, but it's kind of cool to share. So I, I intend to edit this and upload it to YouTube. This one's called Shockman, came out in 1992. I think it's sort of a Mega Man clone, to be honest with you, uh, for the Turbo Graphics, but we'll see. I, I could be totally off base. These, this is not a review, like I keep saying. Um, so, it's just uh, me playing or giving an overview of the games I've got on Virtual Console and kind of remembering how much I loved Virtual Console, the idea of it, and I don't think we'll ever see anything quite like it again, unfortunately. Um, with all these different companies and um, okay be nice if I could figure out how to play let's see it's been so long ah here we go I gotta transform don't I here we go <laughs> yeah. Now it's basically Mega Man. Okay. I mean, in terms of what it's trying to probably copy, it doesn't play as good. But, you know, it's challenging, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh my god, I might as well just take the hits. There we go. I still think it's a cool game. I, I, but that's probably unbiased. I love Turbo Graphics, so... For me, I, I, sometimes I'd rather play the Turbo Graphics clone version of a game, like, just because I like the style and feel of Turbo Graphics, but I have to know that, that is, that's through my filter. Let's do it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can, uh... So I happened across another good indie game site, freegameplanet.com. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. I do take note of those, and I got your message about the script, too. And that's really cool. I might uh, ask you some questions when I implement it, if you don't mind. Ah! I think this game plays great. I love this game. It doesn't play like Mega Man, it just kind of looks like it. Mm. Really? I'm pretty sure I know how to get it working. Yeah, Just it's have to implement it. probably a minor change, really. It would be my guess. Uh oh. Again, I'm not trying to beat this, so I'm not worried. I'm just gonna run as far as I can get, and then go on to the next, because I've got like 20 pages to get through. We're we're already through a couple pages, though. So. Oh boy, now it's a shooter. Not really, actually. I have to stay on the rooftops. Yikes. Um. Oh, this is terrifying. Come on. Difficult. Oh, wow. Wish I had a jetpack that would last. I'm not even like hurting the enemy enough. Okay, so that that takes some skill. That's a Ninja Gaiden style game or something in terms of like reflexes, but yeah, uh, and I'm not comparing it to the quality of Ninja Gaiden by any means. But that is Shockman. So now I can move on to the next. I was going to try to get through 20 pages in an hour. I don't know that I can do it, but I'm going to try. Let's see here. I think the biggest slowdown is the loading time of the SD card, which I consider a coffee break. I backed all this up because I think they're shutting down. Like, you can't even download games that you already bought anymore. Okay, so that was Shockman. I'm going to skip Alien Crush. I'm going to skip Lords of Thunder. I think Ordine is worth showing. It's weird, and I like it. It was an arcade game, and TurboGrafx has an amazing port of it. Not a CD game. It was a turbo chip game, which if you're not familiar with them, the, their cartridges look like the size of a credit card. You just pop it in. I've got one. I've got it somewhere. But um, I always liked this game. It was just so weird. Like you can see the guy's hair blowing in the wind when you go backwards and stuff. Like it's just, it's bizarre. Okay. Turbo Graphics, uh, if you like shooters, that is the system for you. And creative ones too. They're not all the same. I need that money. Oh, oh well. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I want that. Oh, fine. Give me that then. I guess I should pay attention to how much money I have. That's fine. There we go.
Yeah, this is almost identical to the arcade version, to be honest. It's really well done, considering it's technically an 8-bit system, although it's the TurboGrafx-16. It can display as many colors as the Super NES, and uh, doesn't have as many sprite slowdown problems as the NES. It was made to compete with the NES, and it blows the NES out of the water as far as specs are concerned. If it wasn't for Nintendo's interesting marketing efforts, um, or licensing efforts, I, I should say, uh, practices, I think they probably would have done as well here as they did in Japan. Okay, they might have been the Genesis. All right, here we go. I've got... what? All right, I'll take that. Thank you. So what have you been playing lately, uh, Mysterious Loner? Uh, I asked you if you had been playing Minecraft still lately, or... Uh, I've been... I've been a absent for a little bit. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. There we go. That's usually a lot harder. I bought the right weapon, I guess. Give me that money. Give me that money. Uh oh. Here's a gambling thing. This this thing's pretty cool. All right. That was close. Whew. This looks like red blood cells or something. Okay, here we go. I needed that. <sighs> okay. Yes. I've beaten this game, but it's very hard. I don't. There's no way I would do it now, but I'm doing an overview. But it's it's very hard now for me. <laughs> like, you gotta practice. It is not like riding a bike. There we go. Okay. <sighs> okay, fine. There we go.
Okay, that was bad. Boss time. And is that it? So there's Ordine. Okay, I'm not going to go any farther even though I want to. Very fun game, one of my favorites. Alright, on to the next. That, again, Ordine, that was Turbo Graphics. And it's another shooter. But not just another shooter, it's different. There is a lot of variety in the shooters on Turbo Graphics. I appreciate that. Wow, I'm only on page 19? Oh my gosh, that's daunting. How long have I been streaming? I may have to break this into two different streams. Wow. And I'm going as quick as I can, too. Um, okay. Dragon Spirit, I'd like to show. I, I have to show it. Um, I'm gonna skip gate of... Well, no, I'm not. Let's see how long I've been streaming. Well, okay, it's gonna be longer than I thought. That always happens. Whatever. <laughs> I'll split it up on YouTube. All right, so this is Dragon Spirit. Uh, I own own this on Turbo Graphics as well. It came out in '89 in the U.S. Another arcade port, very good one. Great music, in my opinion, and and like, uh, I like the music. I'll just say that. And. Um, I like the fact that you're a dragon. It's different. Like I said, the shooters have some creativity behind them. Um, you got bombs, if you can call them that, um, for the dinosaurs down there. So it's a shooter, <laughs> like what, in the Jurassic period? Or I, I don't know, and there's a dragon? Bizarre. Um, here we go. Lost it right away. I always liked uh, the sound of Turbo Graphics music. I, I feel like it has a very distinct sound, just like Genesis does, uh, just like Super NES does. But I am, I prefer the Turbo Graphics sound. I don't know why. It just has this weird sound. It's because of the sound chip they chose, and I just really liked it. Especially when you hear the real thing, like in full, like pumped up in full stereo, it just sounds great. Got a really nice bass to it, and very nice highs. Don't get me wrong, the Super Nintendo can do much better, like orchestral stuff. That's because it has a Sony sound chip uh, made for such things. Okay. Wow. Boss time. Okay. I used to be so good at this boss. Try. I'd like to show people at least the second stage. 
especially a fully powered up dragon. If you don't get hit and you keep getting power ups, it's impressive. Every stage starts out with that same intro part of the song, and then it adapts to the stage level music, which I find interesting too. Volcanoes aimed. Is it? Is that what's happening? Come on. Oh, I was just about to be super powered. Every time I get nerfed. That's good game design, though. So you gotta be really careful. And you cannot fly over those either. Is that it? No, I got one more. Hmm, I love this game. It's cool. I'm glad I'm doing this because I now have a mental list of the ones that I want to stream through. The hardest thing for me is going to be picking one at a time. But, and just like beat, just beat them. Because I know I can't. I've beaten a lot of these. I just need to get back in that mode and, uh, and not give up. This is one of them. Fantastic game. For, uh, shooter fans. Oh boy, I should have gotten that. Oh, I did get it. One of my dragons. Okay, whatever. No, oh, this is insane. All right, forget it. I can't get that thing. That's going to be a problem. <clears throat> I should have flown in, but that's okay. I guess I must have earned an extra life. I'll use it.
That's what I should have done before. Okay. Really doesn't put me in a much better position. What I have to do is something weird like that. I f mm. Well, another day. That is Dragon Spirit. Great game. Great arcade port. Turbo graphics. On to the next. Yeah, on the YouTube video, I'm definitely cutting out the loading times for uh, switching between games. Okay, so the next one I'll do is, surprise, surprise, a shooter. Uh, this one is a CD-ROM game. It actually came with, for a while, the CD-ROM system. So, as well as the Turbo Duo, which was a combined package that had a CD-ROM and a Turbo Graphics built into one. It's a beautiful system. Beautiful even to this day. So this here is Gate of Thunder. You can tell they were all excited to have real music, and of course it came out in the 80s, so just remember that when you hear the music. But, it's a great game. I mean, as far as shooters go, it's fantastic. Incredibly hard. Not as hard as Lords of Thunder, though, in my opinion. I, I have a harder time with Lords of Thunder. I'll, I'll let the intro play for just a second or two. kind of inspired by like Robotech, Maycross, that sort of thing. Anime. Alright, you get the idea. And here we go. Gate of Thunder, let's just do it. It's a side scroller and it's extremely hard. You can control your speed up at the top right, just like the other one. Um, I forget the one I was referencing before. So many shooters. I think it was Super Star Soldier. I like middle speed again on this one as well. You can actually select your weapon, which is kind of neat. So unlike games like, uh, I think it's Life Force, where it toggles up and you just pick one and that's it. Once you have a weapon, you can switch it on this, so... You use whatever's appropriate for the, uh, si oof, the situation you're in. Uh, which is nice. I like that. Adds a little bit of strategy. And you're not committed. Unless you do that. <laughs> Sometimes the worst enemy on this game is the terrain. I will crash if I hit the bottom or the top, like even that ship, like a little bit, and that's it. I gotta take that thing out. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. There we go. And that. 
All right, you know what? That's what I'm doing with that. There we go. Okay, those have a wider uh, field. Nice. Much better. Now I've got heat-seeking missiles. That's good. Give me more. Give me more. <laughs> I don't really like that right now. It's very powerful, but it's better for a boss, I think. Uh, hmm. Wow. Okay. Ain't over yet. Or big ships like this. Oh boy. Okay. I know it's gonna be a big center laser eventually too. Yeah, yeah. My lord. Okay, how many lives do I have? One left. Don't make that mistake again. And I did. This is it. It was very close. Very close. That is Gate of Thunder, a very challenging, wonderful shooter. If you mess up, it's your fault. It's not the game. No point in putting my name in on that one. On to the next. I promise they're not all shooters. Turbo Graphics is uh, <laughs> a little bloated with shooters, but I, that's part of why I love it. Okay, so now I will move on to... Ah, we made it through another page. So I'm going to do... Nope. Uh, no. 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 Uh, Riot Zone. Riot Zone was their attempt to make a CD-ROM game that was like a beat-em-up. Uh, kind of like... I even hate to say Streets of Rage because it's, no, it's not in that ca caliber. It's just not... Uh, it's a fun game for what it is, a CD-ROM fighting game. So if you had a Turbo Duo, this was a game you could get and, and play something that felt a little arcade-ish. Um, you'll, you'll see. I'll show you Riot Zone. I like it. It's just not what they wanted it to be, I don't think. So it's a little bit of a poor man's uh, fighting street or... I don't know. Maybe it's just Riot Zone. <laughs> Let's reset. I think it's, I think it's all right. I have fun playing it. So it's got the story and all that. And the music, of course, is CD-ROM, so. Don't make full use of that. Final Fight, is that what I'm thinking of? Final Fight? Yeah. Final Fight and Streets of Rage were inspirations for this game. But easily, you can just tell. Strangely enough, they... They didn't botch it that badly. Uh, I mean, you can tell it's a clone. Let me turn this down a little bit on mine. Six feet, one inch, one hundred fifty-three pounds. This guy must be a string bean. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's a little weird. I remember really liking this game though at the time because the sprites are big. You know, it controls really well, and it has full red book audio, which just means 
fully CD recorded music. Um, sounded great on a good system. Fun to play, but it's no Streets of Rage. I do actually, I have to say, this is controversial. I like it better than Final Fight. Um, but that's just me. I know that I'm in the extreme minority there. Uh, I do not like it better than Streets of Rage. Which is funny because uh, Streets of Rage wasn't really an arcade game. So. Oof. They have all of the ubiquitous, uh, you know, characters from these kind of games, like the punk rocks, the dominatrix chicks, the big fat guys, you know, the whole, all, all of that. You gotta have all that. Okay. I think it's a fantastic game. They could have really screwed it up, but they didn't. In my opinion. I have to say that because I love so many games that get low reviews, so I can only just tell people what I enjoy and explain, try to explain why I enjoy it. Okay, here we go. You gotta remember they were competing with NES at the time, because they came out before Genesis even existed. Uh, as far as I recall. And in Japan, they did better than NES than for a while. They, uh, they, they really had a long life um, with many more games, and it's a damn shame they didn't port those to the U.S. Castlevania X being one of the one of the primary ones, and I will show that. I have that in the collection here. It's a great Castlevania game. I don't think I'm going to make it very far here. But I think everyone knows what, what this is about. Change the scenery, rinse and repeat. The real challenge is getting better, avoiding hits, things like that, trying to make it farther. Only using your special move that drains health when you have to. And the music blows away anything on the other systems at the time, just simply because it was CD. Like, the obligatory elevator stage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Has to have one. Yeah, yeah, and you know what else they need is a sub. I bet you coming up is a subway, and possibly a bar. <laughs> and then you need then you need the city background. You gotta get that, which I think we might have already had. Um. <laughs> That guy's name was Fats. My gosh. There we go. Okay. Maybe next is the subway. No, but I, I can't stress enough how this felt like I was playing an arcade game when it first came out, because it, it was uh, before a lot of the other stuff. Like, Super Nintendo wasn't around. Oh, whoops. Ooh. All right, come on. I want to see if I can get to the subway. There, there's a punk, I think. Like, all punks are bad, we know that. It's just, <laughs> whatever. So silly. Hmm. Come on, get up. Can I grab him? I think I can. Do the old grab. Oh yeah. Now I'll try flipping him behind me. Yep. Okay, not as creative as Streets of Rage at all. But it gets the job done. The punch sounds are satisfying to me. They're not as satisfying as Final Fight. 
That is the best punch sound. I love that. Come on, gimme. This was not an arcade game. They actually made this. It's an exclusive. And uh, I thought they did a good job. These games were a lot more popular back then, too. So they weren't uh, considered boring or repeti as repetitive. It was more like having an arcade experience in your house. Okay, please be a subway. I really don't remember, so I don't I don't know. Hmm? No. Uh-oh, boss, huh? Mr. Lee. They have a couple Mr. Lee bosses on uh, Turbo Graphics. Uh, one of my favorite games, The Last Alert, has Mr. Lee. Uh-oh. Come on now. Take him out. Hmm. Uh-oh. What? Ooh, part two. Interesting. Oh, he's getting help. Whoa, easy there with the boss. Get out of here. Mm -mm. Get the. Yes! I didn't think I'd get through round one for this quick uh, overview, but I did. I'm not going to play all two lives. I just want to see what's next. Back when games didn't care about offensive stereotypes. Oh, I know, it, and it's just full of it. Blatantly. Like, in your face. Like, they're celebrating it. <laughs> Weird. Uh, okay. I like the music for what it is. I mean, I, I would not listen to this in my car, but it works. Okay. Okay, is it gonna be an inside bar? No, I'm, I've been wrong. Okay. So that is... Oh my god. Riot Zone. Great CD-ROM game for the Turbo Graphics, released as I, as I know, as I think, only in America. I think. Um, I think it was made by the U.S. version of. I think it was Hudson Soft. But um, I, I like that game. It's good. Okay, on to the next. This stream's gonna take longer than I thought, but I'm gonna get through it. I'll split it up for YouTube folks. I have to get through it. And there is a lot I'm skipping, so it's it's not going to take that long. Uh, the fact is, more Turbo Graphics games are. How am I trying? What am I trying to say? There are more Turbo Graphics games that are less known, less well known, and that's why this part's taking a little longer. Fighting Street is hilarious. It, it is actually. I many people might not have seen this. I don't know, but it, it's it is Street Fighter. It, it's the first Street Fighter. And it is the worst game you'll ever play. And I'm going to show it for that reason. I, I have it for that reason. And I, I have the original CD-ROM. Not only is the voice acting atrocious. Now this is a direct arcade port. You cannot blame Turbo Duo for this or Turbo Graphics, any of the other, whatever. They did an exact arcade port. It just happens to be that Capcom's first fighting game was awful. And then Street Fighter 2 came out and was like the exact opposite fixed everything. So I'm going to play this and I'll be, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm real first Joe. Okay. You can see the similarities, but you can also see how bad it is. It's, it's, and they even made like, this is a direct port. So the term graphics can do better graphics than this. Um, there we go. See, you can do the, you can see the precursors of what it was going to become, but my gosh, the game is awful. I like Street Fighter 2. This is a joke. 
I'm only gonna show this, just one round. It's this game gives me a headache. Or one total round. Okay. Come on. You can still do the the moves, some of the moves. They're just not as easy to pull off. As Street Fighter 2. There we go. Okay. Now listen to this voice acting here if it does it. It might. That really happened. Okay. So that is what Capcom likes to forget, the very first Street Fighter. <laughs> uh. It's just fun to have for that reason. And again, that is exactly the arcade, so that wasn't even like a limitation of the system with the voice. Like if you play in the arcade, if you can if you can ever find one of those, it sounds just that bad. <laughs> okay, so that was Fighting Street. Um, I'm gonna skip over here now to um, Dracula uh, X Castlevania, which is a shining example of what the Turbo Graphics Turbo Duo CD can do, um, if given a good development team and time and a good game concept. It's it's amazing considering the specs of the system. It's gonna be very hard for me not to play this one very long. Okay, reset. Yes, go. The intro is all in German, which is interesting with Japanese subtitles. This was not released in the US. It's, it's a damn shame. It, it would have really helped sell the system. But Nintendo had uh, really strict licensing fees that would not allow it. Um, I'm gonna skip the intro. What they do is they sacrifice someone. It's very violent. Which is another thing, uh, TurboGrafx had no problem with violence, way before it was cool. <laughs> so they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna sacrifice her, there you go. But I'll show the game. And you'll notice the similarities to, uh, to, um, what's it called? Um, Symphony of the Night? Yeah, this is the prequel to Symphony of the Night. But don't take that in the wrong way. It doesn't play like Symphony of the Night. It plays like old school Castlevania. Having said that, there are similarities in the menus and things like that. I might as well just put an Alucard. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to do that. Then you have to say out card. Technique. Whoa. Okay, let's just do it. Here we go. Now you get a little more anime, which I'm probably going to skip. But I'll, I'll let it play for a couple seconds just because other systems couldn't do this at the time. So it was, it was neat. It was novel back then. I think the best cutscene I've seen on NES is something like Ninja Gaiden or things like that. Maybe Golgo 13 or I don't know. I'm sure there are others, but it certainly wasn't anything like this. And it didn't have limited animation, which this can do. Anyway, here we go. Can I skip it? Maybe not. Oh, they're so proud of it that I can't skip it. No worries. This 
It's a great game. And the remixes of the Castlevania music on this are fantastic. Really not until, I think, PlayStation did, I, did we get, uh, you know, really good, high-quality Castlevania music like this. I, I could be wrong. I'm trying to think of an, an yeah. exception, but yeah. anyway. Yeah. Beautiful game. You look at all the background, uh, the parallax and the different lighting. It starts out with death coming after you. I don't know why. You're headed toward the castle. <laughs> I think it's like many Castlevanias. I think there might be a way to survive this this fight. Uh, and it does something different if you do. Okay. Oh. Okay. Nope. See you later. There's the castle, yeah. Nice. And now we go into what looks like Castlevania 2, just without the lame uh, uh, enigmatic story. And music that I think is, yes, cheesy, but it's Castlevania. It still holds up, in my opinion, because gothic pop kind of a sound. This plays like the NES one, if, if anyone ever hasn't played it that watches this on YouTube. Uh, so if you played the NES one, you'll know what you're doing. And I, when I say the NES one, I'm sorry. I mean Castlevania 1, 3, or 4, I believe. What's cool is you can actually still read these signs, although they're in Japanese. So I'm wondering if that says the same thing as Castlevania 2. Probably. But you don't have to buy any crystals, and you don't have to have any, like, whirlwinds warp you around. None of that. And it looks a lot better than Castlevania, too. And sounds a lot better. Hmm. Very hard game, but very fun. Very rewarding. I probably should have left this one out because most people are very familiar with this now, but uh, I just wanted to show it in the collection because it's fun. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Hmm. Secrets everywhere. I feel like there's more down there too, but I'm not jumping. I bet there are. Uh. Oh, now see, that was just stupid. <laughs> okay, let's give it another shot here real quick. I feel like I should show more than one screen. I don't, I still don't like how you commit to jumps in Castlevania. I wish you could like sort of like change your direction in midair, but to be honest, that's how real life is. I mean, you can't just suddenly f fly the other direction. Uh, it's just frustrating sometimes. Ah, whoa, acro, there we go. Okay, let's get, let's get out of here. I do have to get that heart. I cannot resist it. <sighs> but that's it. Yeah, the artistry, the pixel art, or whatever you want to call it, is just beautiful. I meant to use... Do I not have a... 
Oh, I need a special weapon. <gasps> this is a problem, actually. Oh, I meant to jump the other way. Okay, it's a pattern. Come on, buddy. I'm talking to myself. Okay, now he's gonna shoot. Yeah, now he's gonna shoot. Now he's gonna punch. No. Come on. Okay. I can deal with that. Ah. There we go. You think that's a boss? Nope. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh, two in a row, huh? Mm. Now this is the term, this is not CD music, now it kicked in with the PC, uh, the PCE audio, but that's fine, I like it too. That's how you know a boss is approaching here. Oh good, I have an axe. I might not have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, I was so close. Okay, so that is Castlevania, Dracula X, a very fun game. Oh, I'll give it one more shot. I thought I was I thought it was over with. Yeah, if you like Castlevania, you've just gotta play this. You can get it on PSP, you can get it on PSN probably. Um I'm sure maybe even Xbox has it now. I think it's everywhere now. It used to be hard to get, not anymore. And why they didn't release this here is just a shame. Crying, it's a crime. Alright, alright. Come on. Got it. an epic game. You can also rescue prisoners in this game, which is really cool. They're hidden throughout the castle. I don't know if that's in other Castlevania games, um, but I always liked that. Here we go. This is the great song. I think it's called Vampire Hunter, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of my favorites. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. Mm. There's birds, the pattern. It's so annoying. <laughs> Get out of here. What I wanted were knives, because I can do really well, there we go, against those with knives. I'm sure other folks know how to use the axe properly, but not me. Oh, there we go. Wasn't so bad. Uh-oh. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. Is that it? No, I got one more. Okay. Gonna try it. The game's so fun, I have to. Nice, nice. Okay, perfect. Well,
Come on. Get out of here. I didn't even get in the castle yet. <laughs> here we go. And the ghouls actually look like ghouls, unlike the NES version. It's weird. I'm not knocking NES. I love NES. I'm just saying. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell what you're looking at. Hmm. Pointless end of stage, kill everything. Alright. There's a little surprise though on the first stage for people not familiar with this version. And it's this. And you better run. Mistake there. One mistake is all it takes. How many lives do I have? What's going on here? Oh, I've got one more. Okay. They're very generous with that. Ooh, that key that I got is vitally important. I didn't know it was there. I wonder if they move those around. Okay. It's still coming. <laughs> there we go. Hmm. What? Get over here. No, I want the key. I need the key, please. How am I gonna get down the ladder? All right, I gotta be creative about this. Like, I gotta do this and then this. If I can get to the room over here, I can unlock it and save a girl. And that would be a cool way to end the stream for this particular game. I don't know if I'll make it, but I'm going to try. It's right here. Wait. There we go. All right. Uh, here we go. That's cool. How'd she get in there? I guess they kidnapped her. She just told him her name. Maria, 
Get out of here. <laughs> Alright. Okay, that's a good way to end it. Happy note. Okay. Great game. If you like Castlevania, you have to play it. Um, I honestly think the Turbo Graphics version, to Turbo Duo version, is the best. PC Engine, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't know if I can say the best. I love Symphony of the Night myself. Uh, so it's very hard for me to say the best. It is the best traditional Castlevania in my opinion. Uh, I think that the best Metroidvania is Symphony of the Night. Uh, I'm one of those rare people that actually likes the Metroidvania style better than the classic style Castlevania and almost everyone that I respect uh, says they like the regular Castlevania style better. So I I'm definitely in the minority. Um, Vigilante, I'm going to show this real quick. This is an arcade port, another beat-em-up of a different type style. It reminds me of Kung Fu in the way that it plays. You'll see what I mean once you see the game. It was a turbo chip game, not a CD-ROM game. It came out uh, on Turbo Graphics, and again, amazing arcade port. Like, identical. 89. Golden year. Let's take out the skinheads and save Madonna, huh? Alright, here we go. Plays a lot like Kung Fu on the NES because it looks better, but the way that people grab you, like if I stand still, they'll just all grab you like that. So that's why I let that happen. Just to show the similarities. And they'll just keep coming like that too. But it's fun, it's fun to play. Of course there's the punks. You got weapons and kicks. I don't mess around with kicks too much. Whoa. Very hard game. That's because it's an arcade game. It was meant to guzzle quarters. Ooh. Two... Honestly, two knife hits would probably do it. <laughs> if I could just get him... Yeah, there we go. Oh, come on. Here we go. Give this guy some nunchucks, he's ready to go. Do this all day. <laughs> Uh-oh. Don't you wish bullets moved that slow? Alright, here we go. Get up against that. If you keep this guy against the back, you got him. If you don't, you're kind of in trouble. It works in the arcade as well. Just non-stop. <laughs> there we go. The rest of the game is not so easy. Alright, so yeah, Madonna is in trouble, we know that. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, come on. Do it. Whoa, he can take it. Mm. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Once they get a hold of you, it's like, it's like zombies. You're, you're in trouble. Alright, so this is Vigilante. It doesn't change much. The scenery's change, the weapons change. It's kind of like Kung Fu-ish in its gameplay style. Direct arcade port. Really well done. If you like beat-em-ups, it's awesome. Okay. I'm trying to move fast here. A lot to go through. It's not that I don't want to spend time on the games, it's just that purposes of this video, what I told myself was that I'd be able to get through this. And I think I will. 
it's just taking a lot longer than I <laughs> surmised. Um, okay, we are skipping that. We are skipping monster layer because it's redundant. We just did it. Um, uh, Newtopia, I would recommend checking out Wake and Play's channel. He does some great videos of that. It's essentially Zelda. It's it, but it's it's a you know it's a Zelda on, on Turbo Graphics. So they yes they copied it, but it's really well done. It's a fun game. Um, Splatterhouse, everybody knows. Gradius, everybody knows. China Warrior. I don't think everybody knows. I'm going to show just the first stage on it. People who have watched my channel may have seen me play it. The reason it was a big deal when it came out was simply the sprite size. Uh, everybody looked like this, you know, little little Ninja Gaiden characters or little Mario. And this game came out and had really big sprites that showed physical damage uh, where they were getting hurt. Uh, it, it's a weird game. I don't know how to explain it based on Bruce Lee. Um, it's, it's not a great game, but it's, I like it. There's something about me that likes it. Very hard game. I'm not good at it. I just like the way he shows physical damage over time and how you can, you always walk forward. You can stop that by ducking. He's already bleeding at the mouth there. And it's crucial that you get power-ups. There's a boss at the end of every stage where it turns into sort of a street fighter type thing. Um, I don't know what else to say. The, the, the gimmick was the sprite size. If you had a big TV, it was like, whoa, back then. I mean, what Mario probably, or Ninja Gaiden guy, probably came up to his knee. Uh, so that was like kind of a selling point. Having said that, Ninja Gaiden's way more, has more depth. And replay value. So, does it really matter in the end? No. But it's worth showing. Um, okay. Ah! It's a memorization game, really, this one. I guess a lot of games are. Here's the first boss, and still not sure quite what to do. <laughs> but this guy is gonna kill me. Come on! Is it, is it a kick? Is it a punch? What does he want? There's got to be a pattern I've never been able to figure out. I'm just gonna have to like cheat and read about it. I don't like doing that. I, I think I got him, but I don't have the next one. Ooh, I looked like I locked there for a second. That was cool. I did. Okay. I'm hurt though. Come on. Let's go. I always like that, how it turned, you know, different colors. His expressions are neat too, like when he punches he changes expression. All these little details were, were kind of novel back then. Nowadays it's, it's nothing, <laughs> but really cool. Okay. Mm, wrong button. I meant to... That's what I meant to do. Okay. Gotta know what to do. Okay. Nope. That's it. I think I get one more shot. Let's see. Yeah, one, two. Okay, cool. It's it's brutal. Brutal. At least now I'm not bleeding. Oh. <laughs> I say that now. Then I get hit with two rocks in the face. Get out of here. If you can get some of these have power-ups in them, that's why I try to always get those flying things. It is difficult, though. Mm-mm. Mm. Come on. Pathetic.
Oh, one more try. Let's do it. There we go. There, there's a way to do that jump kick. That's uh, very helpful. Mm. All right. Can't mess around with that. Death by stick. Oh, he's hurt. He is going down. Oh, look who it is. Fully recovered and ready to end the game. That's okay, buddy. Oh, zero guys is a is a okay. Depends on the game. Uh, why not? Ah, that was kind of cheap. <laughs> Who's throwing that? With those monks? I want to know. And this is gonna sound really stupid, but even the fact that he blinks was kind of interesting back then. Um, although not completely uncommon, but it's just a lot of little animations for the character. Given his size. Hmm, that hurt. Hmm. Oh. Oh, you know what? Just... <laughs> That's China Warrior. Okay, so... An interesting game. Historically. I'd love to beat it. I never have. I'm sure there's a way. I'm sure people do speed runs of it. I don't even want to look it up. But yeah, I know it's it's still a fun game when you get into it because it's very uh, it's very rhythmic. Like your guy walks forward, and you if you memorize it, you know when to like jump, duck, jump, punch. Like it's it's a different kind of feel. So it's not all bad. <clears throat> How long have I been streaming now? Oh my god, I'm gonna have to split this video up. Okay, so. That is China Warrior Splatterhouse. Enough people know what that is, I think. Um, Devil's Crash, I've played. Chase HQ, people know pretty much maybe what that is. I don't know if people know what Twin B is, but I feel like I should skip it because it's another shooter, and I've done a lot of that. Um, Bravo Man, that's an interesting, weird game, so I'm going to show that off. I don't know that people talk about Bravo Man all the time. Um, I used to, it was one of the first games I got uh, for the system. And yes, he says bravo when he punches. Very Japanese game, um, made in Japan and uh, quickly ported over here without much localization. And that's fine. Um, I actually had no problem with that. I think it's great. So let's see here. There we go. He can jump and. Okay, let's do it. Let's go, come on. Alright, sorry buddy. So he can punch, he can jump and do long kicks. He's got horrible voice, and I don't know why, because Turbo Graphics can do good voice. But he's saying Bravo every time he does it, so uh, he's going to remind you that he is Bravo Man. Very weird game.
Was that it? Okay. Why can't I, uh... Alright, whatever. I gotta tell you, I, I don't know... Whoa. Oh, that's helpful, actually. <laughs> and in case you didn't know, bravo. Alright, let's do it. Still kind of fun, though, if you like platformers. Ugh. Nothing wrong with the controls. Hook me up, buddy. Ooh, you can walk on clouds. That's right. Forgot about that. They have some weird enemies in some of these Japanese games. Uh, very weird. Um, it's kind of cool, though, to see different stuff like that. Alright. Bravo time, I guess. Oh, is Bravo Man down for the count? Now, where do I start? Because if it's, like, the very, very beginning, I think I'm done demonstrating Bravo Man. Let's see. <laughs> Wait, is something in there? No. Gotcha. Gimme, gimme. Mm. Oh, can I go? Nice. He can shoot through walls. I like that. Hmm. Ah, okay, that's Bravo Man. There's, there's no reason to waste time on Bravo Man. So how are we doing here? Let's see, we're almost through Turbo Graphics, which will bring us to the next section. It'll speed up then, because most, most of the Turbo Graphics ones are the ones uh, that are just kind of weird. Okay, so we are at... I would put Street Fighter 2 on just to demonstrate how good it is. I'm not going to. JJ and Jeff is a great one to show. Like, I don't think there's any game quite like JJ and Jeff on Genesis or Super Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo or Nintendo. I could be wrong, but let's check it out. I like it. I had it. I had the. I have the Turbo Chip game. It is not a CD-ROM game. And it's just weird. Very. It's a platformer, but one of the weirdest ones I've seen. Two comedians that aren't funny. Um, uh, you'll see. <laughs> um, there they are. I think they were called Kato and Ken in Japan. Same thing, though. Yeah, someone needs help. They got called. You can kick stuff everywhere. Oversized heads kind of deal going on. <laughs> And for some reason, your friend is like an enemy. Like, he's trying to, like, set you up and stuff. It's weird. Birds will take dumps on you. Um, you can switch the male and female restroom signs. Like, it, it's just the weirdest game. I don't understand it, but I, it's kind of fun. Alright. Now, these guys, you can, like... Watch this. I'll, I'll switch the signs here. There we go, one. It's one door, so I don't know why it matters, but... Can I go in there? No. Oh, I could've! Let's do it. 
try kicking above the stump, chump. That's actually extremely helpful. Let me get up there. I think you can ride that. Yeah. <laughs> Where are your true friends? Right here. Makes no sense. Uh, okay. But, whatever. You see, I'm not kidding about the birds trying to take dumps on you, either. It's not a joke. Okay. Mmm. And it hurts, too. There we go. In the Japanese version, I'm not gonna say what this is instead of bug spray. Let me just say that they turn the other way. I should have kicked him. Oh well. Above the stump. There we go. Gimme. Mm. Oh yeah. Why not? What a weird game. Okay, it's good enough for now. Stuff everywhere. Okay, those you just want to stay away from. If you can. Oh, I want that. Oh well. Get me out of here! It's really a fun platformer if you can get over the absurdity. Don't try to make sense of it, really, is what it comes down to. Hmm. Life is full of gambling, but you have to have the cash to play. Okay, thank you for that life lesson. Oh. I gotta start jumping when that happens. Hmm, leave me alone, man. Thought we were friends. Into the sewer. I right, will cut it after this fairly soon. But the locations change. I mean, there's all kinds of hidden stuff. Like, I, I think it's an interesting game. I actually like it. I don't know why. I think just because it's so weird. I, I kind of like weird things. As long as the gameplay... Like, so if the gameplay sucks, I wouldn't like it. But the gameplay is, is good. In other words, it's not like horrible platforming. You can get good at it, in other words. Um, if you want to. Vampire says to look for the hidden doors. I want your blood. Isn't that so funny? I don't want to know. Um, okay. Hidden doors. Will do. Oh! No, that was actually quite dangerous. I... Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. I'm not gonna show much more. Okay, area three will be it. Uh, this is JJ and Jeff. I'll just play recklessly. Super recklessly. One more life. 
Okay. Oh, that would have been a hidden door. Except you can't go back. Unfortunately. Leave me alone. How does he walk through fire? I want to know that. Ah! Okay. What happened? I wanted to bet. Do I not have any money? Oh, I see. Mm. Oh well. Oh, okay. Zero is life. Let's go. Whoa. And that's JJ and Jeff. It's a fun game. Bizarre. Absolutely bizarre. If you want like a stream of consciousness platformer, go for it. Okay. I mean, Mario's bizarre. You're eating mushrooms, growing big and small, I think, but at least there's a sort of internal consistency with Mario. <laughs> it obeys its own rules. Okay. All right. So the next one, um, let's see here. We're going to skip Street Fighter. Um, I think it would be nice to show Ninja Spirit uh, because it's a very, very good game. And it, it's not Ninja Gaiden. And it's not Shinobi. I think it's like somewhere in between. I th it was an arcade game. And this is a damn good port once again. Um, and it's very fun and hard and challenging and good graphics, all of that. So I'll, I'll show it. Ninja Spirit. Turbo chip game, not a CD-ROM game. Let me reset this here. As you can see, 1990, so a little bit later. Well, a year later than most of the games. Here we go. Um... I don't know what PC Engine mode is, so I'm just going to play the game. I love this game. The music's wonderful. It reminds me a little bit of Legend of Cage on NES, actually, too. If anyone remembers that, that sees this. And that's because of how high the, the protagonist can jump and, like, uh, like, you know. Anyway, you'll see. There we go, power up. That's what I need. Now I have sort of a shield. You always want to look for those orange dudes. There we go. Now, now I have a shadow clone. Now the shadow clone, will, when you stop jumping, will stay where it is. That can be incredibly useful. And when you get this power up, you can block bullets. So. now. Pretty soon I'll have fire, I hope. Assuming I don't die. I'm used to playing this with turbo graphics controllers. This is a little bit difficult. But that's okay. First boss, right? No. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, shield time. And if those couldn't block those, I mean, there's just no way. <laughs> now with this boss, I have found that if you do this, you've kind of got somebody in every position here. So I wait till he rises up, and he's easy to kill this way, as long as you get these power-ups, I think. He should be dead relatively soon.
Not so the second boss. But, um, there we go. Now, if you don't do that, you're, it's actually quite hard. In my experience. Oh, here's the part that reminds me of Legend of Cage. Just check this stage out. I mean, it's... It's, uh... It's right out of Legend of Cage. Hmm. I'm gonna get fire soon, I think. Hmm. A little slow down there. Alright, here we go. I think that might be it. Oh, I really need that. Nope, that wasn't it. This might be it. There we go. Uh, now this boss is tough. He, uh, he flies different directions toward you rather quickly. Uh, like that. And if he hits you once, you're dead. It's a one-hit kill. Uh, so I'm probably going to end my example of this game right here. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to beat these. Just giving an overview. If I sound repetitive, it's because I don't know when folks are going to watch, and this is going to be split up into multiple videos. And I don't want people to think I'm just giving up immediately, because I'm not. All right, next. Hey, we're making some progress. Made it through four pages. It's going to go quicker soon. I'm going to miss the virtual console concept. I really am. There's some similar ideas, it's just that they're scattered. Okay, skipping these. Um, Blazing Lasers I'd love to show. I just play it all the time though, and it's another shooter, and I won't be able to stop if I play it, so. Crater Maze, I think people understand what that is. Um, I hope, maybe? Dragon's Curse is exactly the same game as the Dynastic Hero. It's just a non-CD-ROM version. Military Madness, I am playing a campaign on that, so no reason for me to cover that. Uh, Cho Aniki is a strange animal. I'm wondering if I actually should show it. I think I will for a very short time. I'm not going to say anything about the game. It was a Japanese shooter. It's extremely strange. It has themes that are weird. And, uh... It's a shooter, <laughs> so let's check it out. Um, <laughs> here we go. Not released in the US, ever, until Virtual Console. Let's just go with normal. <laughs> and let's just do it. <laughs> it's such a... Okay. The music kills me. It's all peaceful. It gets weirder than that, too. Let's see if I can make it far enough to even show anyone. I have before, but that was on my own time when I was really intensely focusing on the weird and trying to ignore the weirdness. It was distracting me so much. Whoa. I mean, you gotta give him credit for imagination.
<laughs> In case you missed, that was a floating muscle man spinning through the air. Okay. Ah, uh, whoa. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Come on now. Give me a chance, will ya? I see what I have to do. I have to lower it down. Five. See, look at that. Every shooter has that, right? Totally normal. Three. Okay, let's try again. I'll, I'll do this. Let me pause the game for a second so I can regain my sanity. <sighs> I said I like weird stuff. Here you go. Wow, he took me out. Okay, I gotta be really careful around this, guys. <sighs> Imagine just playing the soundtrack, it's like... <laughs> In your car at a red light. Okay. Okay, he's done. There's the muscle man. What does that do? Do I pick it up? I did! It's helping me. It's like an option. Okay. I can dig that. I didn't know that. Okay. Hmm. Come on, die, 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 die. This is tough. Did I do it? No. But it is starting me here. I don't know why. Okay. I'll have to play this another time when I can handle it. That is the game. Uh, you'll only find that on Turbo Graphics, I believe. But maybe not. It's a CD-ROM game and it was only released in Japan. And the Virtual Console. And there's more to it than that. Just just uh, look it up on Wikipedia if you want to know the, how how weird it gets. Okay, I appreciate it actually. <laughs> it makes me laugh, which is a good thing. Okay. So that was, uh, and I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it properly, but I probably Cho Aniki, something like that. Um, okay, Adventure Island, I'm skipping. Uh, Chu Fu, I've played, I'm skipping. Solomon's Key, people know if they've watched other videos. Gain Ground? I think that's worth showing. Now we're on to Genesis. Uh, most Genesis games I'll be skipping because people know Streets of Rage, they know Strider, they know Shadow Dancer. But Gain Ground is worth showing. I don't hear a as much about it and I find it fun I find it really fun it's a weird game it's an again arcade port Genesis did a great job they were really good at that too really weird game okay let's do this here's Ugg's Wii is one of my favorite Genesis games by the way that is a weird game too and I will be streaming that sometime soon one of the best multiplayer strategy games you can play with a friend uh, if you get a chance. Um, real time. It's frantic. So what you do first is you pick a hero. Each hero, I hope there's not time, there is time of course. Each hero has a way they can shoot, like this one can shoot only forward. This one throws grenades forward. This one shoots in all directions but a spear. So each one has different abilities, so to speak. I'm going to choose him first. The idea is to take, it's very simple, take out the enemies, but it gets more complex. You'll see why in a minute here. I chose him for this stage because, well, he can shoot in every direction, and I don't need to lob grenades over anything as far as I know. As long as I can dodge their stuff, I should be able to do this rather easily. Mm. I say that, and I almost got killed. Mm. Mm. Come on. Come on, come on. 
Fine. Fire. Alright, I gotta take him out. There we go. Whew. Once you lose a hero, they're gone. So that's the idea. Like, um, you can gain new heroes. Like, I just rescued one, I think. Um, so now I choose a new hero. For this one, I see a wall there. So I actually want someone who can lob grenades, or at least... Let's see what he does. I forget. Okay, he's got a bullet. That wasn't the best choice. Um, but he's not the worst choice. It's just going to present me a problem at the wall. I should have chosen the grenade uh, lady that can throw over the wall, probably. So there's a little bit of strategy, not a lot. It's an arcade game, but uh, so is Rampart. Okay. Mm. Depends on range as well, too, so. Hmm. Let me see what I can do here. This is getting difficult. Okay, good. Now... Okay, they are lobbing, so they're, they're, they can go over. <laughs> Great. I can't. That was a little bit of an issue here for me. Um... Oh! Got lucky. Okay. Now... This one... I definitely need something that can lob. It's gonna be her. Wait, I thought... Well, she's gone for the count. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. What a shame. A little gauntlet-ish, too. It's just a weird game. It's just weird. Mm, mm. Okay, I'm heading straight for the exit. Screw those guys. I don't think I can get them anyway. <gasps> Run! Oh, did you see that? Now, he can lob. I Can he? No. But, oh yes he can. Look at that. So, I didn't know that. The other button for him does allow him to lob over a uh, wall. So it is critical that I, well, try to use that. Now, it was a little bit of a cheap ambush that just happened there. I don't appreciate that very much. Is it going to happen again? Yes, it is. And I'm down to nothing. So you get gain ground. This is gain ground. Uh, as you get better, you learn how to use the characters in the right positions, you save and gain new characters, and you and rinse and repeat. It's kind of addictive. If you like that sort of thing. Moving on. Yeah, I made sure to after I got it out of storage, I was, I was, there was a short window where I was able to download. I don't know if it's still available, but hopefully they don't shut off downloading games you already own. I think they will because uh, of the way things are moving, which is more of a pay for, a service. Games as a service. Everything is a, as a service. And what that really means is you never own anything. I like services, don't get me wrong. I'm a member of Nintendo Online. Like these games? I can play these games anytime I want. I don't need an internet connection. I don't need to stream them. Anyway. Um, let's see. It's, it's like having, you know, when you have a console, you can play it. You don't have to, like... I don't know. Okay. These games people are familiar with. I, I think. So I'm going to move over to... Mm, let me think here. I, I feel like Musha is... It's a shooter. I feel like people know that. Earthworm Jim people know. Forgotten Worlds? I've played that. I feel like people know it. I just, I, I don't know. Uh, Rolling Thunder is a shooter. Not a shooter, I'm sorry. <laughs> you shoot a gun, but you're, you're a spy. Uh, Alien Soldier is just uh, an arcade game. Shinobi, people know Sonic. Um, people know Toe Jam and Earl. That's the thing about Genesis games, they're more well known, so. Um, what I will probably do is play 
what's 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 known? Really, not much. Genesis is so popular in the states. Uh, let's see, Landstalker is pretty cool. Um, I don't know how many people are familiar with Landstalker, uh, but but I'll, uh, that's a good one. I don't want to start going skipping a bunch of stuff just because time's going on. I can split this video up. So, let's reset. Uh, well, no, let's not. Uh, so, Landstalker is um... okay. Landstalker is kind of like Zelda in a weird way, um, just meaning that there's an overworld to explore. You have a sword. Uh, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, there are dungeons with puzzles. That's where the sim similarities end. Um, you play like an elf type character and it's an isometric view, which is very interesting and refreshing, I think, for the Genesis. Uh, very colorful game for the Genesis too. They, they really made good use of the limited color palette. Here I am going into review mode, I guess, but I'm just pointing out things I like about it. Um, and I wanted to show it just a little bit. Um, you've got use and equip, so you see there are items. It's it's not a full-on RPG, it's an action RPG. Um, and a deep one, though. I mean, the animation... <laughs> the animation is great. The sprites are big. Uh, it's a good game. Anyone who likes action-adventure games, or action-adventure slash RPG-ish games, should, should definitely play this. The dungeons, uh, the dungeon puzzles are really uh, fun, and I was hoping to find one, and I might. Just to give a little brief, some of these probably come alive. I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, yeah. See, there's a enemy. I don't know why it's not moving, but that looks like a slime to me. Yeah. So the the sprites are a little bigger, but as you can see, because it's isometric view. You have this sort of three-dimensional aspect to the dungeons that's kind of unique, and you can jump over things like that and uh, find treasure chests. It's addictive. And there's a series of these games. They, they made more uh, afterwards. Uh, they made one on Dreamcast. I forget the name of it. Um, there might have been one on... I'll have to check, but yeah, I don't, I don't want to speak mysteries. But... Um, you're getting an idea now of what the dungeons are like. They're, uh... Ah! Uh, now where do I fall? Down to a lower level. So now I've got to figure out where I am. And that sort of thing. So, that's Landstalker. Now there are towns. There are people to talk to. There are quests, treasures. So it's, it's deeper than what I'm showing here. But I wanted to just give an overview of the isometric view. And how it plays. Um, bigger sprites, fun sprites for the Genesis items. It's a fantastic looking game. They really did a good job. Okay, that's Landstalker. Do, 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 do. Twitch, Twitch. Wow, I can't believe how much longer this stream has gone than I intended, but I, I don't want to make a shoddy. I, I don't want to, you know, I might as well finish it. It's only, it's pretty early here still, and I can get all my stuff done today, so. We're good. Assuming anyone wants to see this. But when I clean it up on YouTube, I think it'll make a little more. Alright, so let me go back to make sure I wasn't getting in a mood to skip things. Um, I am fairly certain people know these games. Um, Face Harrier, Sonic and Knuckles, yeah. Um, what they might not know, I gotta be honest here, it might be worth showing Musha. <laughs> it might be worth showing Rolling Thunder. Alien Soldier. Dynamite Heady. I'm trying to think out loud here. These. Pulse Man is a decent one to show. All of these are okay. Uh, Streets of Rage, Ghouls and Ghosts, everybody knows that. Uh, Gunstar Heroes, I'm definitely going to show, in fact. <sighs> Alright. I can't jump ahead to the candy. Uh, let's start. Musha's, Musha's candy too. I mean, Musha's a great shooter, so let's start with that. I'm gonna do this right. I'm not gonna skip these. A 
I'll just try to pick up the pace a little bit. I think most folks, just from seeing a little bit, can get an idea of what, what the game's going to be like. Not to say that there isn't uh, variety, right? Mush is a shooter, a very good one, I think, on the Genesis. So it'll have that kind of gritty Genesis sound and less colors than the, the uh, Turbo Duo graphics. But you know what? So what? If it's fun and it's awesome, who cares? All about the gameplay. I like Genesis music anyway. I would say my favorite music would be, in terms of the old school systems, would be um, Turbo Graphics, then Genesis, then Super Nintendo, which a lot of people would disagree with. They would put Super Nintendo at the top. Only reason I don't is I feel like it, it hasn't aged quite as well. Because when I'm playing a retro game, I don't mind having a retro sound. But I don't want something that sounds almost like a symphony orchestra, but sounds like a cheap MIDI version of it. If that makes any sense. I like the gritty sound of the Genesis, and it is gritty. And when used best, I think it sounds amazing. Um, and Sherpa Graphics has what I would call a more electronic or synth kind of sound. Uh, it's all synth, but I'm not good at explaining what I'm trying to say, but a more artificial sound than, or something like that. Less MIDI, more custom sound chip or, or sound chip that I'm not as familiar with. Maybe that's all it is. But I like the way the Turbo Graphics sounds in terms of its range the, the, of uh, highs and lows. Genesis is awesome though. I, I love Genesis music. It's just got such a feel to it. And when it's done right, oh my god, it's amazing. With some games, it goes better because it's a little grittier. Uh oh. So this is Musha. Um, it's a shooter. It's an overhead shooter. I prefer shooters on the Turbo Graphics. Having said that, this is really fun. So. I'm not really sure what more to show of this and I'm going to move on. But as you can see, I'm just saying it's it's a good shooter. It, um, if you like shooters, you got a Genesis, or um, the ability to get this, check it out, and you might like it. Um, I enjoy it. But it doesn't stand out to me as something that's like, oh wow, this is so different, I'm a dragon, or uh, there's a flying muscle man in the sky. <laughs> like. In fact, speaking of that, I forgot to show Psychosis, which is a... I'm gonna... I need to definitely show that. I feel like the shooters on Turbo Graphics are a little more creative. Maybe because they had to be, because it was so saturated. Um, so I'll show one that I think is incredibly creative. Psychosis... I forget what it was called in Pan. But the idea is like, you're inside somebody's head who is going crazy or is crazy, and you're either trying to fix it or, f or get out or something like that. How did I miss it when I was looking through these? There it is, Psychosis, yeah. It's worth showing. It's, it's a little disturbing, but it's a shooter unlike, again, and it's very creative. You're not a dragon this time. There aren't flying muscle men um, <laughs> or anime mechs, but there's even weirder stuff. So, here's Psychosis. Hmm. Difficult game. And I wouldn't pick this as music uh, that I like on the Turbo Graphics. This music is meant to be disturbing. And, and it is. Or, or dissonant. To reflect the fact that you're inside of like a, uh, you know, a struggling mind, I, I think is the idea. Oh, yeah, one hit. 
I'll give it one more try. But boy, does it get weird. I used, I used to own the turbo chip for this, although sadly I, I don't anymore. I just have it on virtual console. Very creative. Oh yeah, you can switch those, that's right. There we go. Okay. That's it. Hmm. There we go. It's just a disturbing game. Disconcerting, maybe, is a better word. In lots of ways. Hmm. I really needed that power. Uh, oh well. Such is life. <gasps> like, what is that? Ooh. Nice. Wow, that's... Okay. Well, you get an idea of what psychosis is. It's, uh... Weird. Yeah, it's... It's it's, it's like a horror shooter, in a way. It's, it's bizarre. Or something like that. Um... Okay. I think I have about an hour left. I'll see what I can get done. I'm not making really good progress. Maybe this will be a two-part video. I don't know. Let's see here. What I might do is jump to the beginning and see how much I'm skipping there. That way I get some variety in at least. This is NES. I am skipping almost all of these because people know them all. Um, it's, it's all been done. Uh, like a lot, though. Like, I mean, I, I know everything's been done, but, you know, these are games that are really fun to play, but here's one, Princess Tomato. Um, this is one that I didn't know a lot about. I'm sure now it, people do, uh, some people, but I felt that it would be one that I'd like to show. So, 
Let's do it. Princess Tomato. It's an RPG. Um, and it's weird. <laughs> but it's cool. It's fun. It's also challenging. So let's see here. I did not mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Let's do that. So it's a video game by Hudson Soft. That's interesting, they made Turbo Graphics. Originally released in 84 uh, for the NEC PC 8801, Japanese home computers. It was ported to the Famicom and in 1991 for Nintendo. Uh, it went largely unnoticed, I, I think. Um, it's Princess Tomato in Salad Kingdom. And I'm just gonna briefly show what the game plays like. So. I'm not even going to go into the story. I do like the music, though. I will say that. I'm going to play through this one sometime. This is one of the ones I've chosen, but... Oh, whoops. So it plays like a kind of an older computer game. You've got move, look, check, talk, take, use, all that kind of stuff. So let's move uh, forward and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> The Celery Forest. There is a baby at uh, Persona? Is that, is that right? Okay, so let's look at it. He is suffering. Well, well, okay, well, let's check him. He needs water. Okay. Do I have water? Okay, no, I don't. I'm gonna have to go get some. So what I'm gonna do right now is move forward and see if I can find some water for that poor thing. But if you've ever played Shadowgate or any of those types of games, it's very much like that, but it's in a bizarre sort of world. Um, the creativity is interesting to me. Main entrance to Saladoria. Um, let's, let's talk. I don't have a pass. Um, how about the fact that there's a baby that is... Okay, fine. Can I buy? Well, maybe I'll just go. No, I cannot. So let's go, um... Again, I'm not playing this for long. Let's go to the left. If I don't find water immediately, I'm, uh, not in the mood. This is a game you want to sit down, spend a little time with, like, reading a book, you know? If you're into that sort of thing. Some people hate these games with a passion. Oh, a water! Uh, I mean, there is water. <laughs> Take water. Okay, I got some water. So let's go help that, that baby, and then... That's fine. I, that'll help him. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's, let's move back. And let's move back again. It makes sense this was really a computer game. You, you can completely tell. Um, which is not to say that that's a bad thing. Everyone has their tastes. I tend to like almost everything. Uh, let's see. Give. Well, how about some water, little baby? Okay, now what? Maybe now he'll talk to me. We'll check. Okay. What's up? <laughs> okay. Anyways, you get the idea. This is an RPG, you fight, you get items, you move around, but it's also sort of an interactive story. Um, it's in a salad kingdom, and there's apparently a Princess Tomato. It got really good reviews uh, from what I read, which, honestly, trust me, I don't pay attention because, okay, I lie. The way I look at reviews is if I see, like, 
everybody, including users, rates something super high. Like, I mean really high, like a 10 out of 10. I take notice. Or if everybody, including users, not just professional reviewers, uh, gives it like a 0 or a 1, I take notice. Anything in between, I, I feel like I need to just give it a chance myself. That's the way I handle it. But I will say this, I think, got decent uh, press uh, for whatever that's worth to you. Um, sometime when I have patience, I'm going to play through it for that sort of game. I, it's been a while since I've played games like that, where you use menus for, for look up, down. I used to program games like that. Um, they're fun. It's just, you know, you got to be in the mood. I've heard the creativity makes it worth it, though. We'll see. Yeah, look at that. 93% like this video game, and these are users. There's gotta be, there's gotta be, uh, pardon me, there's gotta be something to it. Anyway, so that's, that's what I wanted to highlight there. Um, what else do we got? Everybody knows these, so I'm gonna skip them. Um, but you can see what I have. Um, you know, I would like to show Burger Time, only because... <laughs> Oh, this is this topic. But yeah, I used to have a Tiger Electronics version of this game when I was younger. Man, it killed me with pick like pickles chase you and like you have to build burgers and like it's bizarre. It's an, it's just a little arcade game from probably the early eighties, I guess. Um so yeah, eighty two, yeah. Um let's see here. I'm not gonna do well, but I'm gonna try. You've got a salt shaker to kind of keep them away from you, but you're being chased by like eggs and stuff. It's terrifying. All right, so the egg got me. I only I did horrible. Let's try again. All you want to do is make a burger, and that's apparently like a big problem. You you can uh, there you go. You can like make these things land on them, which is awesome. Um, boom, 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 and if it hits another one. It'll cascade, which is like even better. Um, okay, leave me alone. Salt shaker time. That's. You don't have unlimited uses of that, so you definitely want to be careful about using that. <gasps> okay, that was actually my fault. Completely. Is it gonna start over the stage? No. Okay, good. I would have lost my mind. Being chased by, like, pickles, eggs, and, like, I don't know if they're hot dog. It's terrifying. I don't know why it makes me nervous. Okay. It shouldn't be happening. Okay, boom, boom, boom. All right. Even, even the dog's getting into it. Okay. Please, please, please. Please, just let me make a burger. Why are they so angry at me? Whoa. Whoa, they're ganging up now, and I'm gonna die. <sighs> okay, come on. Okay. Oh, I didn't have any salt left. Stress. I can't even build one burger. I can't even... Okay, there we go. I got one. Okay, that's burger time. <laughs> if you like being chased by food and you're desperately trying to build burgers, reminds me of a game called Tapper. If you like that sort of nervousness, you'll love that game. I wanted to cover it just because I don't hear a lot of people saying like, oh yeah, burger time on NES. Uh, so yeah, it's there. Couple more to go. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Yeah, everything else has been covered. This hasn't. This hasn't. Uh, I think this is worth showing because yeah, everyone knows all these. This, I think, was only used in Japan, so let's check it out. The Raimi Fantasy. Who knows what that could be? Maybe it's about the... 
I don't know. Modern warfare. I, I have no idea. I've got it. All right, let's give it a shot. It looks kind of like magical chase to me, but I, I have no idea what- Oh, Hudson Soft. That's a good sign for me. Um, I don't want a story. Not right now, anyway. Okay. Okay, what are we doing here? Is this like a Mario thing? Yep, you choose a stage. I thought it was a shooter. It is not a shooter, but man, the animation is beautiful. Okay. Check it out. The platformer. Fantastic. Now this music is great for uh, NES, or Super NES. I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Alright, boom. Yeah, it's kind of like Bubble Bobble a little. Very strange. Can I bounce off it? Nope. See ya. Ooh, she bowls. And I need. Ooh, that's gonna hurt her. I guess. I'm trying to get the theme here. She's getting musical notes. She's dressed like a. Elf? Something? Or. They run through walls like Sonic and. Okay, it's a platformer. Probably a fun one. I've not played this very much, obviously. Uh, let's check out the next stage and then I'll move on. This might be one that I want to invest some time into. It's beautiful looking. Oh, look at this. You know, why don't they release these games in the US? This is really kind of neat. Okay, what else do we got here? Get out of here. The animation is nice. I'm really enjoying that. Okay. Boom! Get in there. Do our thing. Okay. Gotcha. Boom, boom. Controls are very nicely. Although I will say the goals are a little easy. Like maybe this is for children. Like really little children. I know a lot of games are for kids, but I'm saying like this feels. Well, we'll see. I say that now, and then I'm not going to be able to like pass the next stage. Listen to that. Secret of Evermore is a game on Super Nintendo, probably one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. I'm gonna have to stream that. I know a lot of people know Secret of Mana, but how many of those people, I, has, has everyone played Secret of Evermore? Because it's a great game. Okay. It might not be that this is easy, it might be that it just controls really well. Which is not a bad thing, um, to be honest. I really... Okay, those are... Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> it does what I want it to do. Interesting. Okay. Mmm, that hurt. That would have hurt. Dull. Okay, I think I'm just about done showing this one. Let's just see if it does anything really weird on this stage. No, I don't think so. Just, you know, different mechanisms. Nice animation again. Okay, so that is Do Re Mi Fantasy. It's, it looks like a beautiful platformer. I, I can't really speak to the difficulty because I only did a couple stages. Uh, but I'll probably give that one another go. This is really helping me make a list of what I actually want to stream so that I'm not just staring at 20 pages being like a, uh. <laughs> I have the same problem on Switch, so I'm gonna have to, that I'm not gonna do a, a, a thing like this. I'm, I'm gonna do it myself. But uh, there are so many things I, I would love to stream on, on Switch. Ne never mind VR, Oculus Rift. A lot of stuff. Okay, where are we at? Um, Mystical Ninja's good, but people know, probably know that. Nobunga's Ambition is too much to show right now. So for Metro, everybody knows these. Um, Ogre Battles, people know that, I think. 
because it's, it came back with Ogre Battle Tactics. I played Paper Mario earlier, everybody knows Mario 64 and Mario Kart and Star Fox. Pokemon Snap, I think people know. Final Fantasy for the After Years is too in-depth to show at this time, although it is very interesting. Neo Geo games I will be playing on the Switch, so that's not an issue. Uh, what else do we have? Make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, Zaxxon is not worth getting into. These are arcade games, these are the Neo Geo games. Okay, uh, these people know from Steam. Uh, for the most part, if they, they're available on multiple platforms. I'll leave it at that. Um, okay. I would like to show something like Ogre Battle 64 and other things, but those might be things I go into depth in later. I think I've given a nice overview of my personal virtual console uh, library. Uh, there are a couple of other things that I have uh, that I'd like to mention. Um, I might as well do it on this stream since we're already at like a million hours. Um, and then I'm pretty much done for till, till the evening when I probably stream some Switch. Uh, or VR. Haven't decided yet. I'm uh, excited about both, really. I, I don't like streaming VR as much because I feel like I look weird with the... I don't know. look weird in any way, but like wearing the mask and all the like... It's weird. But what I'm going to do here is uh, go to the Wii menu and go back to Wii U. Because that's ultimately what we're using. Take just a couple seconds. Now we're no longer E. EU, which still has some pretty cool stuff. So, some of the things I'm going to keep streaming WarioWare Smooth Moves, one of my favorite games. I really want to play Metroid Prime, Prime Trilogy HD. Uh, on the, actually, that isn't HD, I'm so sorry. That's just Metroid Prime Trilogy, but they did upgrade it to HD graphics. Super Mario 3D World, I'm a weirdo because I actually like that better than Odyssey, and I don't know why. Um, I want to stream um, Pikmin 3. I would like to stream The Wonderful 101 for a little bit. Maybe Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, because honestly it's identical to the Switch version. Um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker I already started. Gargoyle's Quest is a great game. That's an NES game. Demon's Crust, the sequel on Super NES is good. I've beaten all of them. Um, and I have a couple games here, but these are not worth mentioning here because when I switch to the Switch, <laughs> um, I have all these games there, so, uh, that's a more consolidated thing. What I'm looking to stream on the Wii U are games that I can't get on the Switch, like, for instance, Super Mario 3D World, Pikmin 3, uh... I know people don't like Sonic, but I might I might check that out a little bit. WarioWare Smooth Moves, Metroid Prime Trilogy, maybe WarioWare Touched, I don't know. Um, NES Remix, NES Remix 2, Nano Assault, Wonderful 101, and uh, Wind Waker. Yeah, I might actually skip this, Tropical Freeze. I'm not really that into it, and... It's on the Switch. There's just no no point. So um, this will close off uh, the games that I want to stream on uh, on the Wii U. I've already kind of covered the overview of my virtual console library. Uh, the games that I have on Switch that I want to stream might as well be shown now too, since this has become a bloated stream. So I'll go ahead and do that. It should only take a second here. So switch to the switch. And I'll just rename the title afterwards, it doesn't matter. This is all going to be cut up and edited.
Ooh. That was interesting. It sounded like I lost it. Um, okay. So what I want is this. Yeah. Yeah, the Switch, um, I don't know where to begin. I, I'm enjoying Xenoblade Chronicles 2, so I kind of want to keep streaming that, but that's like so in depth. Uh, there are a lot of like lighter style games that I would like to play as well. I have an arcade stick for it, so I'd really love to make use of that sometime. I did uh, the other day, and I had a lot of fun. Well, the other day, it was a little bit ago, but I had a lot of fun with it. Um, let's see here. This should be super easy. Gonna be a second of a blackout here, and then it should. Just go to the switch, which is where I want to probably be for tonight anyway. Um, let's see here. In fact, I'm sure of it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there we go. Right. Ta-da! Let's see if it switches. Who knows, right? Let's try this. Okay, so the capture device here. There we go. All right. Let's go to properties. And do something. See if it updates. It might. It might not. Uh, we will see. Here we go. Okay. Coming right back. Yep, there it is. And we want it back. There we go. Cool. So, um, yeah, so on the Switch, um, let's take a look real quick. There we go. Yeah. So, I, I like arcade games, yes, but I'm going to finish Doom. So, Doom, I'm going to finish with motion controls because I'm having a blast. It's incredibly fun. Um, I didn't expect it to be so much fun. Other than that, the ones I would like to stream coming up soon. Always open to suggestions on YouTube, uh, comments, whatever. Or if you know me, just send me a whisper or whatever and say, do this one. But yeah, Animal Crossing, I want to keep doing that. Uh, in fact, my next short stream before I take a break is going to be me checking in with Animal Crossing. Um, let's see what else here. Uh, arms. I want to stream a little bit of that. I know it's older, but I want to start having fun with the motion controls. I want to get into it. Uh, I've already beat Axiom Verge, so I don't want to stream that. Baba is you. I'd like to stream. I've seen people streaming that on Steam. It looks interesting. Um, I really have... Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of what I want to really stream. Because uh, there's so much here. I'm actually going to stream Diablo 3 uh, on the Switch. I, I, I have this idea, like, I have a great computer in it, and I can run these things at a higher resolution, but I feel like it's fun to show it on the Switch, like, every now and then, just to show, hey, this is what it's like. Like, same with Doom. You know, I've got that on PC, 4K. You know, runs great, maxed out. But um, I'm really having fun 
on the Switch playing it. So there's there's some room for that. Um, probably gonna stream. Let's see, Golf Story at some point. Um, Into the Breach. I feel like streaming that. I'm a little bit traumatized from Burger Time. Um, I would like to stream Katamari Damacy reroll a little bit more. Um, I would like to stream. Luigi's Mansion 3. I would like to stream Minecraft, believe it or not, on the Switch, as well as VR. Um, I would like to stream some stuff from the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System online uh, here. Pokemon uh, Let's Go Pikachu is kind of cool. I might stream some of that, although people probably won't be as interested in that. That's okay, though. Uh, Poyo Poyo Tetris, very cool game. I will stream some of that. I'm looking here. Splatoon 2, I'm going to be streaming some of that as I get better. Learn it a little bit more. Again, motion controls, I'm no longer averse to it. I want to learn how to do it. Kind of fun. Smash Brothers, I'll stream some of that. Super NES Online, I'll stream some of that. Um, Tails. Tails is a great game, but before I start streaming that, I want to stream some other things. It's, it's just, I can only stream one, like, super in-depth game at a time, like, really, it seems. Tetris 99, I want to stream that. Um, Skyrim I'm going to do in VR, so I'm skipping that on Switch. Uh, what else, what else? Uh, I will probably stream a little bit of The Messenger. Maybe a little Val Valkyrie Chronicles. Um, it's, uh, interesting game i want to stream war groove i haven't even really started it yet and it looks awesome and i love war games ease i would love to stream that he's a i i haven't done anything of that and it's one of my favorite franchises xenoblade chronicles 2 though is the rpg i'm playing right now that i'm going to be streaming so uh that one's kind of in depth so i want to take my time with it I, i've been having a lot of fun with the battle system hated it at first gave it some time and now i'm like addicted so that one i want to do and someday i want to do this one um my problem is figuring out which ones to do when so without being all over the map and i guess i'm just going to be all over the map it's just going to be the way it is when it comes to vr i thought i'd go over a couple things here that i'd like to stream uh that is something that, uh, without showing here, uh, I can uh, just sort of mention. Um, actually, that's not true. I can show. I can show. It'll be a neat ending because I'll just show the stuff that's coming up for anyone who cares. Um, Oculus, Oculus, there you are. What I'll do is I'm going to replace this, this with Oculus. So that. I can show my library and uh, give an idea of what I'd like to stream from Oculus Rift. Th those games are a little more obscure to folks, I think, than the ones on Steam. Um, some are on both, but I'll, I'll just list the ones on, I've, on both services. Why not? Uh, so image is window capture. I'm going to go ahead and capture the Oculus uh, library that I have. See if it works. Did it work? It, it did, and, and incredibly fast. Um, I'm happy about that. Okay, so let me see. Yeah, great. So I'll go to my library, and I'll show some of the games that uh, A to Z I would like to stream. Uh, I'm probably going to be streaming Waltz of the Wizard just to show what it's like. Um, I want to stream Viral EX. Skipping a lot. The Mage's Tale would be nice. I, I, um, Super VR, Super Hot VR, sorry, it's kind of cool. Um, I would like to stream that. I don't know how people like streaming of VR, but I'll give it a shot. Rick and Morty definitely want to stream. 
Robot Recall would be fun. Even something like Perfect, which is just a series of interesting VR getaways. Kind of a neat thing to show. Minecraft, definitely want to stream that in VR. I'm going to see if there's any other big ones here that aren't on Steam, though. That, that's kind of the idea. Maybe Farlands. Dead Halls is, is a little creepy. I'm, I'm going to stream that for sure. Um, oh, Arizona Sunshine. I know that's on Steam, but that's a zombie. One of my favorite VR zombie games. Multiplayer. It's just tons of fun. Uh, Air Car. I want to stream that. It's like flying around in Blade Runner World. And maybe a couple others from here. On Steam, what I'm going to do is stream the following in VR. I don't even think I have Steam. Maybe I'll have to do it memory. But Steam's going to be things like Skyrim. Uh, no Man's Sky. Subnautica. The Forest. I'm going to go ahead and open Steam because I really want to make sure that I make this conference. I don't want to do a video like this and I feel like it. it's really more for me to remember what I, what I want to stream and what I don't in some ways. I want to make videos where I'm streaming. Let's see. Let's try this here. There we go. Should work. Come on. Oh, caps locks. There we go. So for Steam, what I'm going to be Streaming following uh, in VR, that is isolate the VR game stuff. Uh, Beat Saber, um, a game called Compound, uh, Blade and Sorcery, Elder Scrolls, uh, Skyrim, The Forest, Furious Seas, Iron Wolf, Jet Island, The Lab, Minotaur Arcade. Of course, No Man's Sky, and I just, Oblivious, um, Project Cars, what else? Uh, The Solus Project, Star Shelter, Subnautica, Unnightly, um, Vaults of the Wizard, I, I think I mentioned, The Wizards, uh, a few more. So that, that's uh, the variety uh, of what I've got. Um, let me move my, my video back up here so I can be seen. There we go. So that's the variety of what I've got coming up. It's going to be primarily um, Switch, uh, and it's going to be split between one major RPG that I'm working through, like, like in this case, Xenoblade Chronicles, and then that'll move to Tales. Uh, but then a ton of just like little games that I call them little games that I'll play sporadically, but make progress over time slowly. Uh, and if it's good enough, I'll keep playing it. If it's not, if I lose interest, I just will drop it. You know, or if nobody's interested in the zero views or something, I'll just uh, say, okay, well, let's try something else. But yeah, the, we've got Steam to pull from. We've got Switch with a pretty robust library. And then the virtual console, things like that. So I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, I'll keep playing Animal Crossing, although that's not a game you play for a long time. That I don't, anyway. I, I check in. Uh, you know, do a couple of things, talk to some things, and you know, collect a couple things. And it's more of a Zen experience. So, um, anyways, I hope everybody has a great day. I'll be on later with Animal Crossing on Switch. And then I really don't know what will be after that. Yeah, it will either be, uh, if there's requests, I'm totally open. Uh, those primarily tend to come from YouTube, but I, I, I would love to get them uh, on, on Twitch. And, uh, even if it's one person, just, hey, I want to see Crash Bandicoot on Switch. Boom, you got it.
Um, so anyways, we'll talk soon and I'll be there soon. And uh, no matter who watches this, whenever, I hope you're doing great and stay safe. Thanks for your time.